Hey guys, it's Flota and welcome back to another Splatoon stream! I am not at my 100% right now because funny, uh, funny cold moment. I've been having a severe headache all day. Um, so I decided to, like, we're still gonna do PBs, but I also do want to keep things chill. So today I figured why not start gambling because in one week we're gonna have the Splatfest and usually I'm very bad at like getting conch cells so today we're gonna be doing some turf and the good part about it is that regardless of what team you picked we can all get conch shells together in um turf war so um today I'll just be doing some chill turf war lobbies and then later on in the stream we will be doing some peepees as per usual um my voice my sinuses and everything, it's its the cold weather season where everything is dry and it's horrible and disgusting and people are getting sick and uh, we all know how my health is. Uh, very much rapidly declining, but it's fine. <laughs> I hope that everyone is having a good Flutal Friday, though. Um, it's good to see you all. Obviously, I'm going to do my amazing voice acting, but I do want to say hello to everyone first uh, because, yeah, we have the uh, Splatfest announcement. But yeah, hello! Um... Uh, let's see, starting from the beginning of the stream. Hello, David. Hello, Switch. Hello, Lost Ratty. Hello, Steven. Um, hello, Xbox. Hello, Wolfie. Hello, Ghostly. Hello, Game Spy. Um, hello, Chris. Hello, Wolfie. Hello, Moss. Hello, um, uh, we got Ghost. Um, and we also have Sophie. We also have Bunny as well, and everyone else here as well. So, yeah, it might be Saturday for you as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, let's get going, shall we? And also, hello, Ice Mud. Um, but yeah, let's get going. Thank you for sending me the friend request. I'll be accepting them after this. <clears throat> anyway, let's get to voice acting, shall we? Listen up, it's going down. We're repping the Splatlands. We are the cut. Anarchy Splatcast, we're live! Hey. You lip sync, we drip ink. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, breaking news, you two. Oh, what's got your fins of flapping? Shiver! You ought to know, it's a dream. Hey, hey! Oh, I like a Splatfest! Yeah, time to party! What's the theme? What's the theme? Hey, hold your seahorses. The info's still downloading. I've got it. The theme is... Hmm, well, that is fascinating. Uh, hurry up and spill it! You're hogging the Splatfest vibes! Chill. I'm getting ready to announce it. <clears throat> hey, hey! Without further ado, this Splatfest theme will be none other than... Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Wait, where's the drum roll? There you go. Here's the drum roll. Yay! What's your favorite chocolate? Also, it's weird because the colors on the bottom don't quite quite match up with the one on Twitter, which is really strange. Anywho, what's your favorite chocolate? Dark, milk, or white? Yo! Is this because Team Sweet just rocked everyone's taste buds? Not so fast. Dark chocolate is the best. It's rich and sublime instead of just, uh, sweet. Uh, just sweet? How dare you? Milk chocolate's perfectly balanced. It's so mellow and creamy. Hey, if we're talking creamy, don't forget the velvety goodness of white chocolate. Uh, why can't we pick more than one? This is torture! I quit! Whoa, calm down. We're talking about chocolate. It's yummy. It's the best. And the best part of chocolate is the cacao, right? So, dark chocolate easily wins. And while other chocolates are mere trifles, dark chocolate has anti... Uh, some things. I don't remember what, but dark chocolate's good, so whatever it, it's against is bad. I, is that how science works? I say all dark chocolate is poison your brain. Oh, yeah. I think she was mentioning antibiotics. I believe in you, Shiver. It's not too late to turn from the dark side. Hmm. I thought I was onto something there. I'm about to win you two over. Uh, back to chocolate. White chocolate is so smooth, like a gentle wave of flavor. And did you know they use it to make other chocolate flavors like matcha? Oh, I love me some matcha. I guess white chocolate is actually pretty legit. <laughs> uh, but I like everything about chocolate. The smell, the sweetness, the creaminess. And so which one of those is most important to you? All of them. That's why milk chocolate's the best. Don't you see? Milk chocolate is the perfect blend of all of chocolate's best qualities. We're never going to agree on this. Uh, us? 
disagree. I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, big man. If only you saw the last couple splat fests. Let's up the stakes. Losers have to get the winner their choice of chocolate. Deal? Fine by me. I'll be the one getting all that sweet, sweet chocolate. Or it could be me. Just saying. And that's all for now. Make sure to get your votes in and make sure to gamble. Let's go. Also, you know what? I love how long that Splatfest dialogue was. We haven't gotten too much, but Nintendo really feeding us with that. Also, yes, I agree, Frost. My voice acting is over the top that it is funny. It is purposely silly. It's a silly little, silly little deep cut epicness. Um, but yeah, um, I hope that everyone's doing well. Obviously, um, I do have to pick my team. And for the people that are not aware of what team I'm on, well, you're gonna find out right now. So, um, but yeah. Also, hello, welcome on in everyone else. Hello, Scourge and Frost. Um, and yes, you yeah, got no splat vest. <laughs> yeah, imagine there was a no splat vest. Also, Kirby's Return to Dream, right? I saw that remake on Twitter. Hmm, I might because it looks really cool. Anywho, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch his tiger by a so. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Dark chocolate, baby! It's time. Like Big Man said, or rather the opposite of what Big Man said, I will be joining the dark side for this Splatfest. I will be the dark chocolate um, representative here. I love bitter chocolate. It is my favorite. I'm so excited. I'm all ready. Um, and also Lo Sued, welcome on in as well. But yeah, we're I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing the funnies. I'm gonna be on another purple team again. Because apparently all the teams that I have to be on, or rather are the most based opinions in my opinion, have to be relatively um purple or blue, which is really strange. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I actually haven't looked at the rotations, but I'm not really one to look at the rotations for turf. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too bad. We even get Flounder Heights. If we keep playing to 10 p.m., which is probably what we're going to do, we're going to be able to get to Flounder Heights twice, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to be going in and doing turf. Um, I'm not going to actually make a room because, fun fact, if you make a room, only three other people can join, and that's lame. So just join me via turf. Um, there's no password or anything. Just join um, the funnies. And you'll be able to join on it. It does not matter what team you're on. Because at the end of the day, we all get conch shells. And we're all trying to get that Splatfest sneak peek points. Um, yeah, we're going to do some things. So make sure to join on it if you can. Um, and like the pin message says, I will be um, doing turf war. I'll be resetting the lobbies at my own leisure. Um, I don't really want to like keep resetting lobbies over and over again. Um... Just because I want to chill for today, but I will be resetting them every once in a while. Um, and most likely people will be heading in and out, so... Um, I just kind of don't want to force myself to keep resetting over and over. Because when I reset turf lobbies, it starts with only me, as you can see here. And then it kicks people out when people are um, waiting for the next match, so... We're just going to be doing some turf. Um, and obviously we'll be doing PDs later, so it's gonna be fun. There's a little Mike walking in the stream, we'll be doing well, it's gonna see ya. But are you behind the slaughter? What do you mean by that, Iridesk? Also walking into the stream, we'll be doing well. I just can't handle the bitter taste of dark chocolate, that's valid. Like, admittedly, I do eat milk chocolate more than dark chocolate. Um, but... Okay, I'm not tripping! That wave breaker teleported to the ground, excuse me. That was um really strange. That was so weird. Um But yeah, anyway, um usually I uh eat milk chocolate more, but I don't know, I just kinda like dark chocolate anytime I eat it. I'm not personally a white chocolate fan though, but I never really thought like of white chocolate being used for matcha and stuff. Like, Big Man does have a point. Kinda convincing, Loki. 
Like for people that like matcha, like yeah, that's kind of it's kind of cool actually. But yeah, I'm gonna be on Team Dark Chocolate because it's funny. Maybe one day I'll be on a team that's not blue, purple, or lavender color, even though it's more of a pinky lavender, but... Regardless, I can safely say that I've picked every dark blue, purple, or relatively purple ink color in Splatfests. Please don't have a blue or purple color next time, Nintendo, so I can stop picking it. Stop putting the epic colors... Like, purple's like my favorite color, and I'm not being biased. Like, for picking the team based on the ink color, but damn. Also, speaking of ink colors, it's been revealed uh, what colors the uh, people in the Splatfest are going to be. And let me tell you all that um, the poster deceived us for once because the colors look extremely different from, like, what was shown on the poster. And even in game two, because for some reason they changed the poster color again. Um, they keep doing that, but for people that are unaware... Um, I'll post the uh, image um, of the colors soon, but Tricolor will be on Mincemeat Metalworks from what people are suspecting. Um, and I gotta tell y'all, I think Mincemeat actually kind of looks like a good Tricolor map, even though it's my least favorite. And apparently there's just a random car on top of a pole too. Um, so yeah, that's kind of funny and stuff. White Chocolate and uh, Motherfuckers are gonna go crazy. Yeah. That's why I mentioned the ink colors, because I keep saying that it's a beige color, but it's not. Here, I can show it. Uh, but yeah, here we go. That is the wrong... Is that the wrong image? No, that is the wrong image. That was from the other day. Here it is. I forgot to put on OBS. Um, but yeah, here we go. Also, I'll be accepting friend requests as much as possible. Um, no guarantees, though. Um, that I'll be too consistent, but I'll be trying to, uh, friend people as much as possible without DC. But yeah, here are the colors. Um, as you can see, Mincemeat Metalworks has just a random car on top of a pole for some reason. Um, these are the colors. Yes. This, if, I, I couldn't have said any better, but Undead, if you don't know Undead, it's Squimmin's brother on Twitter was like, uh, good luck family-friendly streamers trying to keep chat family-friendly because, um, literally, there's, you know, <laughs> there, they are certainly shades of colors there. Um, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, exactly. <laughs> if you have a dirty mind, you might get a little, a little funny out of this. Purple's the only normal color, though. But then we have milk chocolate, which is, uh... Yeah. I mean, it's actually chocolate color, though. So it's pretty cool, but... I know people have compared the purple to being lean and... The, the, the brown ink color for being poop. <laughs> and, uh... I won't mention the, the, what the, the, the white one looks like, but, uh... Yeah. Please, Susan, don't demonetize me for hinting at funny internet behavior, okay? <laughs> Oh, I saw I can't resist the urge to be silly. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, Mincemeat Metalworks has bugs right now. I think the pole that the car's on is invisible, I believe. So we might be getting a patch update as well. Because I think Mincemeat is a little bit unplayable. Based on the game, so, yeah. But yeah, that's, uh... The ink colors are gonna be interesting! <laughs> Especially during tricolor. Oh, boy. But yeah, I guess I'm on Team Lean, guys. What team are you on? <laughs> oh, man, it's gonna be funny. I'm really excited for the Splatfest, though. It's really nice that um, we're having back-to-back -back months with Splatfests. It definitely seems like um, they're going for a, um, two Splatfests per season. And probably one big run per season. So, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Be getting our second Splatfest for this season. Because we start off with big run, so... I can't believe Big Run was pretty recent, actually. The beginning of the season. Also, the last month as well. Happy February to everyone, by the way. The slowest month of the year. Because we all know how that goes. 28 days, more like 28 million years. Because that's what happens. The car is on top of the pole because Nintendo's too scared to hide his power, yeah. Nintendo on their way to make the ink colors as sus as possible, yeah. 
Listen, I'm not the one that thought of that, okay? You can blame, like, half the internet, okay? But yeah, it's... It's just casual internet behavior. You know? There you go. I love how Dynamo actually works now. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna try and get some dubs today. Because conch shells are important. I've always been, like, never a person to collect conch shells before the Splatfest. But they actually kind of do matter, as seen from last Splatfest. So I do want to do my best and have Team Dark be the one with the conch shells. So we get some easy points, but obviously it all depends on how everyone does. Obviously, I have a feeling that milk chocolate's probably going to be the most popular, but I'm excited to see what'll happen. Also, I'll be accepting friend requests in between matches. Um, I can't actually accept them during the match or else I'll DC. Um, friend codes in the upper right for people that want to join. Like I said, I'll be resetting lobbies on my leisure. I won't be resetting, um, after every single match, but I'll be trying to reset every once in a while. Um... So please be patient, but yes, um, I will be accepting front requests in between matches because then I won't be able to DC and, um, then that way, uh, I can friend people and people can do things as well. So, Dahlia, welcome to the stream. Hopefully doing well. Hashtag Team Matra Sweep. Yeah, real. <laughs> I regret life. Now everyone's going to make slander videos about Team White Chocolate because people are immature. <laughs> Frost. <laughs> That's, I, I mean, listen, it's going to happen. Listen, like, that's what happened with the chicken and egg splat fest. So, you know, it's something. <laughs> yeah, the real winners is uh, people that l uh, like uh, matcha or like uh, chocolate in general. Also, dang, last ready. Yeah, white chocolate's just white chocolate. So real for that. <laughs> also, yeah, all the colors look really good. Despite all the jokes that people are making. I think the, um... I think the, uh... The colors look really nice. I think the color combinations for the Splatfest keep getting better and better. Um... And obviously being on probably what will be one of the least popular teams. Um... I think, um, the, uh, tricolor is going to be nice. It's not actually going to be tri-mirror anymore. But we'll see. I know Milk has a little bit of a lead, but it'll be nice. Being not the most popular team for once. We'll see how, how things we're going to do here. Now, how well we're going to do, excuse me. I have to transition from E-Leader to T-Tech. That's going to be hell. Oh, yeah, for Splatfest. You are still going to be pretty good on mincemeat, though. I'm assuming the ultra signal is going to be on top of mid. Uh, on top of the greats. So that's going to be interesting. I'm still a little upset, though, that they didn't choose Macomart. If they do a food Splatfest and they don't have Tricolor Macomart, we're getting scammed. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. <laughs> it makes it makes so much sense. I want, like, Macomart's Tricolors in the game just... For the chocolate Splatfest, please. What if they do another food Splatfest? <laughs> Just kidding. We still have to go through this one, but it'll be funny if they keep doing food Splatfest. I'm not opposed, though. I'm not opposed at all. Also, why am I using Big Swing? I have no idea. I'm answering that question for myself. Maybe I just want to be a silly little guy getting my four-star badge on Big Swig. Which, fun fact, I'm actually close to getting four-star badge on Big Swig. Oh, because back in the day of, uh, 2023, 20, uh, December 2023, I wanted to try and, um, I wanted to try and main Big Swig, but, uh, that never happened, so. <laughs> I almost got the four star, but we're, we're getting closer, you know? Also, hello, Abdul, welcome to the stream, hopefully doing well, it's good to see ya. <laughs> yeah, it is that time of year where it gets really cold, um, and it's really dry and disgusting outside. <laughs> Um, I've had a headache all day 
Yesterday, um, for the FNAF stream, um, I actually was thinking about canceling that stream because I also had a headache, but low-key, um, if I move any streams, I'm gonna be completely honest, if I move any streams on my stream schedule right now, I don't think I will, like, the- they will be postponed by, like, two weeks because next week is gonna be so busy during the week. Like, I have so many, like, tests and stuff in school, so, like, it's gonna be a little bit, um... I'm sorry, Sophie. <laughs> I'm sorry that I rickrolled you. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to hang in there. I've been trying to take care of myself. I've had some hot chocolate, um, some hot pizza rolls. I literally took like an hour and a half hot shower. Um, because listen, if the hot, if the water isn't scorching hot, I'm not gonna take a shower, okay? Sometimes you just sit there and you just, um, you just, you know, get warmed up by the shower, you know? But yeah, I've been kind of, kind of pulling through. But thank God it's Friday today because I can't imagine if it was like Wednesday or something because legit I would be so done. But yeah. Also, I'm so sorry, Sophie. <laughs> I had to rickroll you with a big swig. It was my only chance. Will it hear me out? Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ice cream? I would love breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I have been an advocate for that Splatfest for ages. Please do a breakfast, lunch, and dinner Splatfest. I don't think we're going to get a ice cream Splatfest, a, a Neapolitan Splatfest, because we already have chocolate. I don't think they would do something too similar to that. Because obviously this whole Splatfest is about chocolate. It would be kind of weird if people voted for chocolate. Um, well, it would be weird if chocolate was an option. Because we already had a Splatfest about chocolate, if that makes sense. Obviously, I would pick Team Chocolate for Neapolitan anyway, but... Um, that's something. Also, the Ultra Signal's under the grate. Interesting. I actually didn't know that. I haven't looked at, like, any footage, so... I could be entirely wrong. Also, yeah, December, tw uh, 2022. Um, that's what I mean, by the way. And also, low cat, welcome on in. Oh, the jokes that are gonna be made when Team White Chocolate secures Ultra Signal. Stop. <laughs> oh no. Anywho, as you can tell, I'm just kind of playing with random weapons right now. I don't really care. For Splatfest, I like to have fun, so I kind of just like doing this. Hot ginger matcha tea with some white chocolate. Sounds pretty good on Loki. I'm not opposed to any type of chocolate, I just I prefer one over the other. I'm not a hater. But yeah. What's the best pizza topping? Um, I'm a pepperoni person. I used to be sausage person, but I oh, don't know, I like pepperoni better. The white chocolate sprinkler of doom. <laughs> Have fun to try colored milk chocolate. Oh man. What was Nintendo thinking? My soul is slowly evaporating. <laughs> oh, Nintendo, Nintendo. Always providing us with very interesting, interesting things indeed. It is definitely a month of Nintendo, that's for sure. Hopefully we can get a direct soon. Maybe get some more Splatoon news as well. Can't you believe, though, that the next season's gonna happen in March? Less than a month now, we're gonna get a new full wave of weapons. And maps and other possible modes in um, Splatoon 3. Like, I know I've always talked about, like, speculation and stuff, but it's actually gonna be happening. Like, it's almost March! Even though, like, February is, like, always what seems the longest, it might go by fast, considering there's something to look forward to, I guess, at the end of the month. It's gonna be really exciting. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm using Nova right now. I need to get better at Nova, but it's not just- it's not my weapon, unfortunately. So, I think that's Moss using the Brawl. Very cool. Let's see, a March. Real. Also, I learned this fact today on Twitter, but, um... The placeholder, um, title for maps in Splatoon 3 is Moray Towers. Um, so... I don't know why, but, uh, I learned that today from a Japanese data miner. That, uh, Moray Towers is the placeholder name for, um, not found maps or something in the files. When a map isn't selected. I mean, that means nothing, considering Flounder Heights was the placeholder um, name in uh, Splatoon 2 for maps. 
and that wasn't included in the game, but I know some people are a little scared that Mori Towers is gonna come back. So I know a lot of people, you know, have some problems with that map. I've never tried matcha. I've tried matcha before. Um, it's not my thing. I'm not also a tea person as well. Like, to be honest, I'm not really a uh, tea person. If I, if I know that, um, I don't remember who said this in a past stream, but I remember like talking about coffee versus tea versus like juice or whatever, like fruit juice or whatever, or some other drink. But I would definitely prefer drinking tea out of most caffeinated options, unless soda was there. But, um, I'm not a really big fan of like bitter teas. I mean, matcha isn't bitter, but it's a unique taste that. It's not really my thing. But yeah, matcha ice cream's decent. But I'm not really like a matcha drink sort of person. It's not my thing. Yeah, GG's everyone. Matcha tea's okay, it's made up. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the language in Splatoon is made up, but is based, I think, on English, possibly. Though I don't recall. Um, we do have Pocky in America, yes. Um, but it isn't as popular as it is in certain parts of the world. So I'm sweating because my heater is... very hot right now. Warming up my room. Um, I'll play Explo. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, it depends on what script. I was about to say English, but I know it's also based on English as well. I mean, uh, Japanese and Latin. It's very nice. I've only tried strawberry Pocky. I think the only type of Pocky that I've had is like the normal one and uh, chocolate. I think that's the normal one, but... I love, I love Pocky. Pocky's really delicious. I like it. It's not for everyone, though. Which is understandable. So, hello, Squipper. Welcome on in. Hopefully doing well. It's good to see you. Animal Crossing is based on English. Um... I think for the localized versions it is, but I think for Japan... The Animalese is actually, uh, spoken differently. I think it's based off of Japanese there, but yeah. I think in localized versions, it's based off of English. Could be entirely wrong, though. Also, I most likely will be resetting the Turf War Lobby after this round. So I know some people friended me and stuff and possibly want to join on in, so... Yeah. But yeah, here you go. So yeah, Explo, funny! I've been trying to get into Explo and Zones, and Loki, it's been really fun. I haven't played too much Splatoon this week because I've been trying to catch up on sleep. But then, of course, when I catch up on sleep, I get like a freaking cold, so that's fun. At least I don't have a fever, though. I checked my fever after school today. Well, no, I was just at regular temp, which was pretty nice. Yeah, I love Expo. Expo is so fun. I might use this during the Splatfest Loki to improve my uh, Expo skills and maybe try and get a four star badge on it. So bubble blower moment. I wish the bubble blower was a little bit wider, I guess, when it's underneath a uh, platform, but you win some and you lose some, you know. If you slow down animalese, it's uh yeah yeah yeah. Animalese, yeah, exactly. So yeah, we love Explo. Explo is very fun. If you wanna still be semi backline and be a little, a little crazy. This is the weapon. I love Expo. I love using it in zones, not to like ink the zone, but just uh, to keep the zone, I guess, for myself. <laughs> also, no, I'm not actually old.
I am almost a big kid. I don't usually talk about my age too much, but I am actually younger than you pr most people perceive me as. <laughs> Which is weird, because I feel like I act very immature sometimes. But then again, I also did not... <laughs> but then again, I also didn't say what I was thinking about the white chocolate in color. <laughs> but... No, I'm very much... I'm not super duper young, but... I am younger than Vipriania. I'm sad because one of my favorite rides in Magic and Disney World and Land are closing. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Splash Mountain. Aren't they renovating it or something? It is a little sad about you. Also, yeah, unfortunately, Moss. Hopefully they fix Brella. Also, yeah, I'm not as old as Vic. Some people thought, like, I was like, <clears throat> like an actual adult. Um, I'll stop for now. Just to reset the lobby here. You can technically join back to back. I don't really care. But just be mindful that other people might want to join. So. Um. Yeah. I'm 11. Yeah guys. I'm 11. Real. I am 11 years old. No cap guys. I act. I, li I act like a 5 year old. And I'm totally 11 years old. Yep. I'm actually 4,866 years old. I'm lying. I'm older than what you perceive me as. <laughs> way, way older, you know? My canonical age is 4,866. Real. What's a little King Poyo? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. It's gonna, it's gonna see ya. What do you mean he's still in the womb? Exactly. I'm still cooking, bro. I'm still cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me cook! Let me cook! <laughs> uh, I'm cooking things up with the Explo. I know the Explo is like supposed to be based off what? Like a jet engine slash furnace? But what if I like... What if people use Explos as like a grill? What if I like cook my uh, shrimp on here? Hi. Oh, I'm dead. But yeah. Here's a gaming system in the womb. Yeah, there is. It's a Nintendo Switch because it's based. Hello, Hydra. That is not one of my viewers. I swear, I always run into Hydras in solo queue. It's very funny. Can you stop attacking me? Oh my god. Never using Brella again. Brella is, um, a weapon, and I main it, so. I'm hoping that we get a Brella kit this time around instead of 5 million shooter variants. Because lordy lord. Now, if Splat Brella gets crab, I'm just saying, I'll be part of the crab meta. I'm gonna drop in with the Reflux. Reflux is a good painting weapon. I actually wanted to used the reflux when the game came out, but low-key the playstyle isn't for me, but it's very fun to use. It's definitely more of a painter than anything. Wow, I absolutely comboed that person. That was kind of sad. Give us uh, reflux with autobomb and inkjet. I can see reflux having inkjet, just like wiper. I feel like wiper might also get inkjet. People need- I- I hope that Inkjet gets more weapons, because it's sad that it, they still only have two. Give us fresh Squiffer back. Yeah, they'll probably bring back the new Squiffer or something. Or the Squiffer variant. Hopefully they do it similar to the fresh. <laughs> like they did with uh, Dapple's Nouveau being similar to Clapple's. In terms of the kit, at least. Hello. Oh my god, I missed. Oh my god, I keep hitting the wall. There you go. I love being able to do that. Oh man. Yeah, here you go. Zipcaster burst bomb range. 
I would be shocked if they do not do Burst Bomb on Range Blaster. It's gonna happen at some point. Maybe Zipcaster as well, but... I don't know just yet. Really good kit, though. Really good kit idea. Just my favorite special because I main M parries. Oh, that's cool. I used to be very interested in maining Splat Dullies. Can't get around to doing it though, which is weird because I like the playstyle Dullies. But yeah, it's something. Do you know the only weapon not based off of something design wise is the mini? I don't know. I think it's not like, I think it's more of just a, I guess, obviously based off like a minigun, but yeah, it's not really too reminiscent of anything else. Custom Hydra would be nice. I wonder what they're going to do though, because a lot of the we weapons. Why do you get calm arid in the lobby? I'm not blaming anyone, but low key the game kicking everybody out because of a comm error because someone's internet was maybe not the best which is perfectly fine but like it's irritating calm door south down midsummer miestro okay miestro anywho i'm gonna go ahead and accept the friend request which i believe i've already accepted so there we go. But yeah, I'm interested to see because a lot of the weapons... Excuse me. Sorry if I sniffle a lot on the stream today. But, um... Wow, someone has all Brella badges. Wow. But yeah, um... All the weapons that had like stickers only as their different i guess different models like the luna blaster neo it's gonna be interesting to see what people do it's gonna be really interesting to see how they design the different weapons it's gonna be pretty exciting once we get to see more i guess diverse things that also goes for the splat brella as well because they do have the sorella brella colors instead of the ugly splat brella colors for the splat 2. So I'm interested to see what my new Sorella Brella is going to look like. So I do love my... I do love my Sorella Brella and I hope it gets a good kit. Because I love Brella. My favorite. My favorite class. Always getting neglected though. So damn, I'm actually doing pretty well. There you go. Nice ink refill. So I love just being able to just sit up here and do explosher things. Should have probably tracked the guy, but... Oh, no, you're not. Uh-uh. Crab L. Crab L. This Trizuka's gonna get me, though. Oh! Or this person. Damn. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. That's a low ticket. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully doing well. It's good to see you. I'm glad you enjoy it here. It's good to see you. And also, welcome back, Ghost, as well. Hopefully you're lurk as well. Also, you're stuck in the lobby, Moss? Damn. If you put your switch on sleep mode, you actually get kicked from the lobby. Without consequence. So, anyone is interested in that? Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Also, Sprinkler and Hydra would be, um, sad, but, uh... I, like, listen, I feel like it would get something like that. I wouldn't be shocked if it didn't did get Big Bubbler as well. I feel like it could be really interesting. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, maybe Hydra getting like Trizuka or something would be interesting. Or possibly getting Rain. Um, I could also see Hydra also getting Squid Beacons, but I feel like Ballpoint could benefit from that more. Considering how Splatoon is doing things, they might put Ink Mine and have Bubbler. Which would be weird, but... Hmm. It's something. 
I just lose a bomb? I mean, a house auto bomb, yeah. I think, um, the best bomb would obviously be, um... Maybe, like, a torpedo. Ooh, a torpedo would be interesting. I feel like that would work on a, uh, mini, though. Oh, Tetra Fizzy Zipcaster. I can see fizzy bombs being on a, uh, Tetras. Zipcaster is an interesting choice, though, but I think it could work. Dodge rolling would be very interesting. Dodge rolling outside out of a Zipcaster. I hope that each class gets Zipcaster at some point. I can also see Umbrella also getting Zipcaster as well. It just really depends. Hydra with suction Zipcaster. Unfortunately, if a Splatling ever gets Zipcaster, oh lord, it's gonna be funky. I can see not maybe getting Zipcaster, but I don't think I think the only weapon class, yeah, that doesn't really work with Zipcaster is uh, possibly uh, Splatlings, but it really just depends. Also. I wouldn't be opposed to the idea, though. I would like to see a Splatling get Zedcaster. There's no kit I want more than Fizzy Tacticooler Soda. If Nintendo doesn't do that for Big Swig or Soda Slosher, I quit. It'll be a sad day. Playing Tri Stringer in the entire lobby was targeting me, damn. Ink Mine works, though. Yeah, Ink Mine's still pretty good. Squiffer should get Zipcaster. It literally benefits from Zipcaster. Being able to charge in the air is so good. Nintendo, don't be scared, bro. Don't be scared of putting ideas into to action. We're gonna let you cook for a bit, but... Just so you know, Nintendo. You have yet to make amazing combinations for weapons that'll be super duper fun to play. That so many people would enjoy. Also, I'm so sorry for that, Dahlia. I could use that shark better, but it's okay. I don't think Zipcast would work on Hydra would take half the special to charge. Yeah, I, that's why I can only really see it on Nought. Or Mini. Unless, like, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, charge is, like, it insta-charges during Zipcaster, but I highly doubt that. They would not do such a thing for Charger, so it doesn't make sense if they were to do an auto-charge for a Splatling. But I can really only see it being on Mini or something else. I really don't see it being anywhere else. Unless they pretty much use Zipcaster as, like, a, uh, getaway tactic, maybe, but I don't see that being very effective. It's cowardly, you know. Like, yeah, uh -huh, I'm gonna use my zip caster from middle map so I can zip all the way back um, to the back side of the map. So then I can use it. Just seems weird. Yeah, I could be okay with not because not is really good for uh, semi shot you can kill pretty fast with it. But that's what makes it hard. How did I not kill them? That was so weird. I don't know how I didn't kill you, Dahlia. But whatever. Stamp Stamper is a backline? Stamper really isn't a backline. It, it's a skirmisher, which it can do frontline and backline. So... I mean, it can be backline, but it isn't, like, super hard backline. Kind of goes all over the place on the map. However people see fit. Oh, damn. Crab Tank E-Leader win. Oh my god, if Crab Tank E-Leader's a thing... That would be really weird, because I think you get... Your range decreases. Right? Crab doesn't have E-Leader range. Unless it does. I don't remember. Be a little bit of a downgrade, but I guess you have rapid fire shots that you could use, but. Be interesting. Oh, that was from a Splat Droid stream? Yeah. 
I was about to say, like, Stamper isn't a back line, but yeah. I still argue that Hydra would work well with Splashfall. Be interesting. Like I said before, I really want, um... I really want... I really want, uh... Rella with Tacticooler. It fits so well. I want, like, Torpedo, Tacticooler, even Splat Bomb would work. Possibly Angle Shooter as well. I'd love to see it. Yeah, Brello Tacticooler is a no brain. If they don't if they don't do Splat Brella with Tacticooler, Nintendo's doing something wrong. Unless they put on undercover, which is also understandable, but I cannot see Tent using Tacticooler. I can see Tent having like Trizuka. E-leader with zip, I don't think E-leader would benefit from that. Unless it's more of Oh, I'll just... It's like... Ta it's like, um... Splatlings. Because I can only really see Splatlings, like, using Zipcaster to back up more, for some reason. I feel like for leader, it's like, oh, I'm in a bad spot. I'm just gonna zip out of here. Which is weird, because you get recalled to the same bad spot once you're done. So it's just kind of weird. Squiffer would probably be the one that gets, uh... Squiffer is probably gonna get the one with, uh, Zipcaster, most likely. Like I said, I would really like to see um, every weapon class get Zipcaster. Because I also like, um, you know, my Zipcaster showdown mini game. So, um, I just kind of like um, being able to use a lot of different Zipcaster weapons. Well, see, so yeah, Zip counts, uh, Zipcaster showdown is great, too. Yeah. Also, let's please not, um... Let's please not, uh... I don't know how to word this, but... Please be respectful in the chat about other people. Uh, Zipcaster Squiffer works too well? Yeah. Yeah, it's also a no-brainer. I could say Inkjet being a thing as well. But I think Zipcaster would be better than Inkjet on a uh, Squiffer. But then again, I don't play Squiffer, so I wouldn't know. I will allow Zip on E-Leader for a fourth kit. <laughs> I can see E-Leader getting, um... What does E-Leader have right now? Wavebreaker? I can see it having rain again. That'd be weird. I think E-Leader might, um... It's kind of hard. E-Leader has only had utility specials recently. But mayhaps, um... It might get, um... I wouldn't say Killer Whale. I don't think it could uh, be compatible with that. I can definitely see, um... Tacticooler being a thing. Or Triple Ink Strike. Um... I can see Triple Ink Strike being on the leader or other chargers. Um, it seems like a no-brainer to me. I'd be really curious if Booyah Bomb gets on E Leader. I think that'd be very interesting. We could do a lot with Leader that they haven't tried out. I hope they have a little bit more of a, I guess, aggressive kit. I guess maybe they can have um like a suction bomb and um Triple Ink Strike, but that sounds more like a fire fin thing. So, who knows? Tenebroa has had wall before. Not the best idea, but it isn't like <clears throat> out of the realm of possibilities. Splatoon weapons were real. I cheated on Squiffer for a leader. <laughs> yeah. I know, exactly, Moss. Just super jump back. 
I'm a firm believer that Squiffer's second kit has every right to get Zipcaster. Squiffer needs a good kit. And it all lies in Zipcaster. It doesn't matter how crap the, spe like the sub is. It'll just be good with Zipcaster. Because right now, it has Point Sensor and Bubbler, which is absolutely Garbo. Or, well, Big Bubbler isn't bad, but like Point Sensor, dot, dot, dot. Um, so speaking of Zipcaster, I'll just kind of use it now. But literally, Zip Squiffer needs Zipcaster. It does not like, I can see it having suction. Give it suction bomb, give it Zipcaster. It's literally the fresh Squiffer, but better. Please, for the secondary kit, have that happen. Why? Why? Nintendo, the lobby shouldn't crash if one person leaves. Why do you have to be so mean right now? A little photophobic. Yeah, there you go. Make a weapon that is a bad version of Splat 1 Rainmaker. That'd be an interesting thing. Though I think X-Flow is the closest thing that we have to it. Okay. I can see Squiffer having ink jet though, but more so uh <laughs> Zipcaster, but either works, honestly. Do you sing your voice makes me think that you'd be a really soothing singer? Um uh, I mean I wouldn't say I'm a good singer. Um I've never really sung on stream like before. And chat, I understand I did sing California Girls, but it was mostly a joke, and I purposely sang bad for that. I've never been really much of a singing person, but I've been a part of, um... I, I wouldn't say I've been a part of singing groups, but... I've been around a lot of musical people in my life, so I kind of... And I've also played piano as well, so... kind of learned pitches and kind of learned to, I guess, sing. la dee la dee la Like, I like humming a lot. So... I guess... For I kind of sing in a way, because sometimes I do just randomly sing on stream. Like, I'm that one friend that will legit, like, um, randomly start singing in the voice call. Like, that's literally me. Ooh. It's at the tip of the night there. But yeah. I do sing a little bit. I know one of my things for this year was to maybe do something music related on the channel, but... We'll see. Yeah, I like singing sometimes. Fly me to the moon and let me dance among, play among the stars. I don't know the lyrics too well for a lot of songs. I need to actually look at them. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. <laughs> Jupiter and Mars. <laughs> Squiffer's Zuka would be good. I can see Zuka being on Squiffer. 100%. I hit that one friend of Rickroll, 100 people. Yeah. I love to sing around my own music a lot, but I don't really think I have enough talent yet to post it. That's valid, honestly. Do whatever makes you happy, honestly. Sharing stuff is cool, but... It does take... It is definitely... It's definitely different posting things than just making things just for yourself. I would know, as being a streamer. In some capacity. Oh, I thought I could zip cast it all. Also, this game should have third kits, possibly fourth kits for every weapon. That's that's the dream, at least. That would be nice. How many main weapons are in the game? Let me look. Let me look real fast. How many weapons are in this game? How many are there? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty, three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. Sorry, I'm counting on the Wikipedia. Uh, 38, 39, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's like 45, 6, 7, 8. There's like, guesstimate, like almost 60 weapons. So if they release like 10 different variants every season, we could have triple kits. There's no way that we're not getting triple kits. There's no way, bro. Kind of want Dewey's Cultures to get ink chat. I can see that happening. Honestly, anything with ink chat doesn't sound that bad. I'm going to be honest. Unless it's like a super close frontline thing. And it's kind of weird, but... Yeah. I have six bags of gummies half eaten because my dad keeps buying them. I love gummies. Are they like gummy bears or are they gummy worms? That's the question. So sorry, I was stretching before the match, so I'm sorry if you heard my neck crack. Don't be like me, except I'm sitting pretty upright in my chair. I just... Uh, anytime I feel like I'm sick, I always have like a bad neck, you know? I don't have back issues. Uh, but I sure as crap have neck issues. <laughs> as a tall person. As a six foot person. Oh god, I'm out of here. Oh, damn it. Sour bears and strings. So yum. Also, see you later, Switch. Thanks for stopping on by. Have a great rest of your night. I'll protest if Nintendo doesn't give every weapon three weapon kits. If you do the math, they're going to do it. They better. Like, I'm not expecting four kits, but please, three kits for every weapon. <coughs> Also, a little hyper fox Pokemon, it'll be doing well. Uh, three slosher kit? Yes! I love the sea fizzy bomb. On more weapons. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah, I kind of have like a cold or allergies or whatever. I've been in a weird spot, I would say. Nintendo really loves the number three in this game. I absolutely, uh, Clint Balloon, also Pokemon, it'll be doing well. If they really love the number three, they would definitely give weapons three different kits. I have the urge to sneeze, but it just went away. Oh, I meant to do this. Epic Zipcaster moment. When it apparently that didn't ink my around there. You're super tall. I'm almost five foot four. Yeah, I'm tall. Yeah. I'm a tall guy. I don't know if people actually perceive me as being short or not. It's like the age thing again, you know? When you're an online entity, people perceive you as something. Just based on how you act, you know? I don't know if I, like, give off tall energy. But, y'all on Tuesday, during my, uh... What was it? Anarchy stream or whatever? Um... Told me that I would be the side character that has a really good spin-off, so. <laughs> maybe I maybe I'm just that type of character, I suppose. Oh, is taller than me. He Oh, don't say it like that, Squiffer. No. Honestly, I I feel like shorter people have more dominance. Low key. Like, that's honest to God. Like, I don't think tall people actually... Um... I don't think tall people actually radiate, uh... Dominating energy. I really don't. I think, um... I have a lot of, uh, shorter friends, and they... They're built different. 
I just hope I can get into the next set because I missed the other ones. No worries, Mike. Hope we can get in. I am resetting every once in a while. I'll let y'all know when I do reset, though. We have reset probably like two or so times. Yeah, I'm like six foot. One time the doctor called me five foot eleven because I wasn't standing up straight. And I got offended by that. He's legit! Like, I can't shrink right now, okay? My genetics are good. Like, one of my grandpas is like... Like... Probably around six foot. And he's like super duper old. So I've got genetics for being tall, I suppose. I guess that's my Nordic genes getting in. I should have Swedish moment. You get mystery boxes. Imagine if you get mystery boxes for like life, you know? For some reason, I guess my mystery boxes lately has been have poor health. I actually might have a cold during the next Splatfest again. Oh my god. Ooh, baby! Doing so well. My genetics are trash. I'm just seeing her all just seeing him short and mentally ill. <laughs> That's not necessarily a bad thing. They're just all built different. And Loki. I might one day have to see a therapist for my stinky brain as well. <laughs> I like this, um, I went to this, like, health expo thing, like, a little while ago, and, um, I visited the booth for, like, therapy and stuff, and, like, took all the flyers! <laughs> I'm not even kidding, bro! One day, I'm gonna have to return to the office, you know? What happened when you get 100 plus in the catalog? You can reset your catalog, you still keep all the items, but then you get mystery boxes every 10 levels for your other catalog. I got the titles Daytime Zipcaster user. Guess what, Nintendo? I'm a Night Owl. Yeah. No matter how, how hard I try, I will always be a Night Owl. My sleep schedule has not been the same since uh, March of 2020. We're actually more so like June 2020. We're very much a night owl. My sleep schedule is getting better though. I'm less depressed, yay. But now I'm at that point where I've learned how my body works mentally. So it's like... It's more so like anytime my brain feels stinky, I know it's stinky and it's kind of rough. Mental health is a hard thing to keep up on, honestly. You ever consider getting a therapist? Do it. I wish I did sooner. It was worth it. Yeah. Therapy works. Really depends on the person, though. I'm more so probably just need more wellness than anything, but... Therapy is good for those that need it, like, honestly. What you take out of it that really matters. I'll take the double. Yeah, stinky brain. Where are you? I have a little bit of a stinky brain. From a young age, I was told I was like on a spectrum or whatever. So I've always been, I guess, perceived as a little different, but I mean, not necessarily a bad thing. I guess I'm just dumping some float lore there, but... So, Ant, welcome to the stream. We'll be doing well. It's good to see you. Nice conch. Thank you. I put the capsule in the, uh, <laughs> the thumbnail. Because I legit could not find a high-quality conch shell image, so... It's kind of funny. DD destruction is pretty common, honestly. I look he might just have, like, ADHD, but... 
I'm not one to assume what my brain goes through. I know my parents have always known that a bit different because I remember when I was younger, I used to not... Like, I was really, like... Like, I was really good at reading and stuff and math, like, academic-wise, but I was, like, really far behind socially. Like, I couldn't really express my feelings too well. So... And this is not, like, a bad thing. I'm not talking about this as, like, a bad thing, but, you know. I guess I'm just dumping more float of lore on you all, but... Obviously not a bad thing to do things, but obviously mental health is a very hard thing to keep up with. And, you know, it only took, like, maybe, like, a decade or so to really, you know, really encounter that and perceive myself as somebody. Instead of being like, oh, I'm just kind of a person. Not everyone is the way that I act, I suppose. Not everyone gets anxious about everything, for example. So I used to be very anxious about a lot of things. I used to be very... I liked power, I guess. I liked being in control, very anxious. When things are not predictable, I suppose, but... I guess over time I learned to be a little bit more flexible. I think. <laughs> I'm very stubborn with myself. Now more than anything. Try to like. Can I like do this? Oh, I just fell. Okay. I'm dead. I read chapter books uh, and novels at the right page of kindergarten, and then everyone else got to play while the teacher made me read, so I get you floating in. Ange. Yeah, it's a little Friday. I hope that you're doing well. I tried reading a book in middle school and it took me six months to get through half the book. Me, because I have a short attention span. <laughs> short attention span. We shall treasure the Dolores. I'm not one to share too much about myself. I only share certain s situations that happened in my life, but I never really... Weirdly enough, I don't really talk about myself too much, I feel. Unless I do, and I just don't notice. The only time I really talk about myself is like... You know how sometimes I always say I can relate to that? I feel like that's one thing about me that, like... I feel like I always say that I relate to things. Is it just me, or is it like, anytime when someone, like, talks about something like, Oh, this happened to me, like... Like, this to happen, this and this happened, and then I'm like, Oh, like, I can relate. I feel like I say that a lot. My silly little brain likes relating to people, I guess. I guess that's, like, some of the only reasons why I talk to myself, because I guess I've always been that person to just relate to people and be like, Oh my god, this happened to me too! Which is not a bad thing, but... Sometimes I feel like I am a little... A little rude, but it's fine. <laughs> you talk a lot about school, true. I do. More general situations, though. I feel like people say relate to too much when they're really just feeling empathetic and don't actually relate to it. Yeah. You're right about that, Squiffer. I feel like the majority of people do. And honestly, same for me as well. It's totally valid, though. So I don't know if I have any uh, friend requests or not. I'm going to check real fast. But if you do want to join on in, friend code is in the upper right-hand corner. So feel free to join on in. Uh, we're going to be... Uh, let me look. Um... I'm going to reset after this game. Find out your personality by taking pot shots, seeing what you relate to, yeah. Oh, see, so yeah, I have a short attention span. I've had a short attention span before TikTok was even a thing. I'm going to be honest. TikTok has made it worse for my attention span, I'm not going to lie. Which is weird, because, like, I can talk for five hours on a stream. I used to stream five hours all the time. I don't know how. It's weird. My brain is very selective of what my attention goes to. But I'm mostly very... Very, 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 very... Uh... Quick to move on from things, I suppose. 
feel like you generally talk vaguely about what you relate to. Maybe it's just because we talked a lot, but I do get what your personality is like, yeah. I don't know. I like just being able to talk about different things, you know? I'm a very chatty person, I feel like. I'm very... It's weird because I'm very chatty, but I feel like I don't talk enough. Like, it's kind of weird. I always have this feeling sometimes when I stream, like after a stream when I'm just like chilling, like, oh my god, I didn't talk enough. So weird how my brain works like that, but I'm a very chatty person, I feel. Like, I don't talk about the game like three quarters of the time and I just like talk. You are. Shut up, but also talk more. <laughs> yeah. I've definitely learned how to talk better though, surprisingly during streams, I feel like I've been able to talk a lot better compared to, uh, I guess before I started streaming. It's actually kind of weird how that works. I mean, it's understandable too, considering, you know, if you talk more, you eventually get better at talking, but it's interesting. You remember things better when you're actually interested in them. Exactly. That's why I talk about random school things. Such as me buying three uh, Diet Pepsis from the uh, vending machines at school today. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god, I also went to Culver's the other night. Totally off topic, but they actually, like, they actually changed to Coca-Cola now and I'm pissed. Anyway. Pepsi gang, for real. Hashtag not sponsored. It would be pretty cool to get sponsored by Pepsi, Loki. Why do you need three? Because I live off of sugar. Now, I would normally order, like, normal Pepsi because Diet Pepsi, um, is filled with the aspartame or whatever. Like, the fake sugar. And low-key, I think that's worse for you than actual sugar. But personally, that's what I believe anyway. Um, uh, so, Diet Pepsi was the only thing available. But yes, I do, I do love Pepsi. Diabetes are gonna come knocking at your door? Maybe. Also, I don't really feel t like... I don't really feel comfortable, I guess, talking about... I guess my age. I don't know, it's kind of a weird thing. Let's say I'm almost old. Like Swiffer said. <laughs> I'm almost old. Not quite. Well, almost. Yeah, age is just a number. I've said this earlier in the stream because someone thought I was, like... Like an older adult, but I really am not. The only time I really talk about my age is, like, on my birthday. I don't- I don't really talk about my age. Because, yeah, I don't- like... I don't know. I know you were just asking a, uh... Innocent question. But yeah, I'm just not really a... I don't know, I feel like my age doesn't really matter. You know? Like... I don't know. I feel like people shouldn't perceive me by my age, you know? It's just kind of weird. But I get it. I know some people want to know. Yeah, I'm not actually that old. Spoiler alert. Oh, you got Uno for Switch? You know, I should have got that. I should have, um, low-key, uh, gotten Uno for my Switch. I need to play Uno with friends, dude. I love playing Uno. Uno's like my favorite, like, card game. Who in the chat has Uno? I might buy Uno after this. <laughs> after the stream. So they want to have Uno, like, on Switch, or, like, the Uno game that's on... There's nobody in the lobby! Who DC'd, bro? Calm down! It's only been 20 seconds. Who has Uno? Like, I know there's the console Uno, right? Like, the Switch. I don't know if it's, like, restricted to each console, but... Who has Uno on their Switch slash console? I have Uno for some reason. Yeah. I need to buy Uno on my Switch. I'm surprised I don't. So oh, silly. So yeah, I am 4,866 years old. Yep. 
My life slowly went downhill. I went from not being able to sit down to always wanting to sit down and having the attention span of a newborn. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> the cardiac arrest gets closer to you day by day at this rate. Okay, but I'm not like that person that drinks Diet Pepsi or Pepsi every day. I'm actually a relatively healthy person. My English teacher that I TA for at my school, she always sees me like eating like cucumbers or like carrots during class because like, listen, if I'm not doing anything, I will eat food. I'm sorry. I'll eat on the job. I'll be that. If I ever be a teacher or work in an office, I'll just munch on snacks the whole time. Like, I don't care. But anyway, people always comment like uh, close teachers and friends have always commented to me being healthy. Like, yeah, maybe I drink three Diet Pepsis, like, a month in one day, but, like, like, one day a month I have three Diet Pepsis, but I'm actually relatively healthy. I like eating soup and, um, I like eating carrots and I love hummus as well. Like, that's the most, like, I feel like Facebook mom thing ever. I know my mom was obsessed with hummus in, like, 2016, but it's, like, really good. We've never tried hummus before. It's really good. But yeah, I love I love vegetables and stuff, which is weird. I don't know. I'm actually kind of healthy, low key. I've had salads in my lunch before too. So I guess maybe maybe my age will deplete faster. But listen, we're all gonna die someday. You know. It's gonna happen. Maybe, maybe me faster than others, but yeah. Yeah, but on the scene, interesting. I will buy Uno if we do an Uno stream. I might do an Uno stream at some point. I might play with viewers. I would love to do that, actually. So is that a telephone booth? Wow, I've never seen that. In, uh, I guess jellyfish in there. Um, I like eating... Okay, so here's a take, I guess. Uh, cooked vegetables are garbage. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna lay that out there. I feel like eating fresh vegetables, more crunch, is very satisfying. Um, if you're a ranch person, I love dipping carrots and other vegetables in ranch. Um, if you're not, like I said, hummus is really good. It's basically like... A garbanzo bean puree, I guess, if you want to be kind of vague about it. I love going through walls with Zipcaster. So fun. Um, I hate the mushiness of the cooked vegetables. That's why. Um, I do like, um, I feel like carrots, like baby carrots are really easy um, to digest, I guess. You don't feel overwhelmed. Um, if you have a salad, salads are really easy to get vegetables in. Um, you can put croutons in there, which is... Mm, I love croutons, bro. I can eat croutons out of the bag like chips. That's how bad, like, kind of down bad I am for croutons. Um, sometimes I like implementing a salad. Um, I like uh, adding vegetables, but I also like adding meats um, inside my salad as well, if you're that type of person. Um... Soup is a great way to eat vegetables, honestly. Low-key, some of the best soups have vegetables in it. Like, oh, Love it. Love it. Soup is, like, an easy way for you to, like, not actually feel like you're eating, like, something out of the ground, I guess. If you are that type of person that doesn't like that. Soup is just really good. A lot of soups, you'll be surprised and, like... Like, I guess, what makes up soup. So a lot of soups have, like, vegetables or other healthy things in them. Or the base of the soup is based off of something like mushrooms or something. Also, when we do play PBs, we will do minigames, but... I only plan to do PBs close to the end of stream. As I do want to get some conch shells. Salads are so good! Italian dressing, yum. Ranch, yum. Lettuce is like free vegetable. It barely tastes like anything, honestly. Really depends on what lettuce you get, but 
I, I like uh, salads are really easy to whip up too. A lot of stores have like um, now, admittedly, like salad mix. Buying salad mix from the store it's not always the best because those are always prone to like you know food diseases or whatnot. But like, if you buy salad components, it's actually really not that expensive. If you buy just enough for your needs for a little while, salads can last for a while. like. You can buy a lot of stuff for salads, and it can last you for a while. Like, salads are really easy to make, too. Like, if you're in a rush... Um... Also, we're, we have a DC, so... We're gonna... Gonna end the match there. But yeah, salads are, like, really easy to whip up. Like, literally... If you, like, have reusable containers, you can just have a reusable bowl or whatever. Like, those plastic reusable bowls. And, like, you can throw in lettuce, throw in some dressing, throw in some, like, shredded carrots or maybe, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, like, other vegetables in there as well. Super easy make, honestly. And I'm sure there's something out there where you, there's, like, a little shall shallot. Salad shaker. Excuse me. I'm about to say scallops or something like that. Which is another thing that I've yet to try, actually. Fun fact. Um, I'm sure there's like mini salad shakers so you can put your salads in and shake them on the go, honestly. Uh, Tapu, I think I know what you're referencing. That's so funny. Also, welcome on in. Blue cheese. Blue cheese is good. Feta cheese is good, too. You can put a lot of good cheeses on your salads. I agree. Uh, broccoli stumps are the worst. Okay, like, I love the bro- I love broccoli, but yeah, the stalks, the stumps, or whatever, are disgusting. <laughs> I will never like those. I think the only cooked vegetable I really like is broccoli. But it has to be, like, cooked in a certain way. Like, it doesn't- Like, the thing about cooked vegetables is like most of the time their texture is mushy or soggy or they don't taste like anything because they're not seasoned. Now, I do like stir fry. Um, I used to be a very, very big stir fry hater, but stir fry is really good. That's kind of how I like my cooked vegetables, I guess. They're still a little crunchy, but they have the cooked taste, which is um, still very decent. But like, yeah, if you like it, school lunch cooked vegetables. Disgusting. <laughs> But, yeah. Blue cheese isn't that bad. I just hate the smell of, like, the good cheeses, though. You know? It's just a smell thing, honestly. And I have trouble figuring out what to eat without your help. I'm gonna eat something healthy. Bean broccoli's good, too. Yeah. See, it really depends on, like, how you cook your vegetables. Because if it's, they're just, like, cooked and it's like, mm, let's make them all mushy and stuff. It's, like, disgusting. I had this, um, talk with, uh, with, uh, my lab partner in physics class today. Um, but, like, we were talking about how eating green beans, like, like, super duper cooked green beans are disgusting. Like, the soggy ones that are always, like, from the can or whatever. Which, canned vegetables are not bad, but, obviously, green beans always get a bad rap. Now, personally, I like frozen green beans. I like eating frozen green beans out of the bag. It's like eating frozen grapes. I kind of like that, but yeah, cooking vegetables in a certain way makes them taste better. Like green beans, like I guess I can understand them being on a casserole, but yeah, it really depends. Broccoli, steamed broccoli is really good. It's a texture thing for me too. I can't stand blue tree cheese crumbs. It tastes and feels like dough, yeah. Feels like kinetic sand or Play-Doh, yeah. Also, yeah, I, I've eaten frozen green beans out of the bag, yeah. It's actually not that bad. It's just crunchy green bean. That's it. Doesn't even taste like green bean. I used to eat frozen blueberries out of the bags. My parents would always, and still does, make a lot of sm smoothies. Sometimes I just eat the frozen fruit straight out of the bag. Like, it's so good. I'm kind of weird for that, I guess, but... It's not bad. What's your opinion on dried fruit? Um... I've not really had too much dry fruit, honestly. I think I've had dry mango and banana before. It's not that bad. It's just not my thing. 
Um, however, I think dried banana is better than normal banana. Banana's the one fruit that I can't really eat. Because that's, like, I... If I dislike a food, it's most likely for texture or smell. And bananas are so not consistent at all. So bad. But dried food... Dried bananas aren't that bad. Um... I've had dried banana and dried mango before. But, uh... It's not bad. It's not the first thing that I think of, though. But pretty pretty tasty. So, hello, Vicky. Welcome on in. If we're doing well, we're talking about things. Uh, Ramoon? I've never heard of that before. I'm seeing that, right? I've heard a lot of people like the hollow me, I think. I think that's how you say it anyway. Oh, yeah, it's very tasty. Broccoli and mac and cheese. I've actually never had broccoli and mac and cheese before. But I've heard of people doing that. It's a very interesting concept. I've had broccoli and nacho cheese before. It's kind of disgusting, low-key. I don't like nacho cheese with broccoli. I don't get that. I choked on some apple juice. I choke on my food too much. <laughs> Same. Also, back to soda. Coca-Cola Mountain Dew literally run through my veins. Is it weird to say I've never had Mountain Dew before? I feel like I've shared that before. I've never had Mountain Dew. There's always those, like, Mountain Dew, like, energy drinks, like the Kickstarts. I think that's what they're called. I've never had a Baja Blast. I've never had Mountain Dew before. I've never had the Kimu Juice. And I've talked about it before, too. Frozen fruits is awesome, but not frozen veggies. Frozen veggies aren't that bad. Green beans are, like, crunchy. I like the, um... I do like, um... There's, like, these sugar snap... Like, the dried... There's, like, dried sugar snap pea chip things or whatever. And those are really good. I love sugar snap peas. Those are really delicious. As you can tell, I love crunchy things. <laughs> I like crunchy vegetables. I like apples a lot, too. If there was a texture of food that I like the most, it would be crunchy foods. I eat potato chips like no tomorrow. And I know that this really isn't crunchy, but edamame is actually not that bad, in my opinion. But I, I used to hate it. So it's understandable for those that don't like it. I've grown to like edamame, I guess, for its texture more, but it's really good. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Once again, I do apologize if you hear me sniffle a lot. My nose is stuffy right now. I need to blow my nose. I've eaten straight... Croutons are back out. Yeah. So it's valid not to like cheese, honestly. Yeah, I've never had Mountain Dew. Baja Blast is so good. I know a lot of my friends that just go to Taco Bell for Baja Blast. That's it. Like, it's actually kind of funny. I drink Mountain Dew. Also, the name just sounds like poop. Sometimes they're dumb. <laughs> Mountain Dew is very much uh, a drink. I would say. I have a lot of mixed opinions, though. My IRL, some of them think it just tastes like bad lemonade, and others, people love it. Like, I don't know. What's up, Anosh? Up it! Welcome on in. If we're doing well, it's good to see you. What does Baja Blast taste? I have no idea. Chat, what does Baja Blast taste like? I've never had it before. I heard it's really good, though. I'll oh, stamp her. Croutons? I used to down those things by the handful. I love croutons, bro. I'm having a salad and an apple right now. I haven't been able to motivate myself to make good food in a while. I'm glad that we can help you with that. Um, pick it, honestly. Salads and apples are very light foods as well. So if you're not really, like, a heavy eater, I guess. Those are very light um, meal, I guess. There's nothing wrong with eating a lot of food, but salads and apples are a very easy thing to grab and go, honestly. And low-key, making your food is a little bit cheaper than actually, uh, getting fast food, fun fact. <laughs> oh, I got to try to get back. 
battery acid. <laughs> Not battery acid, bro. Seems, but it's understandable coming from Mountain Dew. But yeah. One day I'll try Mountain Dew. Maybe on a future mukbang stream, which I always talk about, but maybe one day. Uh, I have had Pepsi and Coca-Cola. I am a Pepsi fan all the way. No one's going to convince me otherwise the Coke is better. I don't care if the aftertaste feels more authentic. The aftertaste for Coke is just weird, in my opinion. Like I said earlier, Culver's, when I went there the other day, had Coca-Cola, and for the first time in a while, I actually had Dr. Pepsi. So I refused to have Coke. I'm sorry! I know that's like a really unbased opinion to have, but... I love, I love Pepsi. There's just something different about it. Also, I have played Ding and Rampa too. My, my favorite... Uh, one of my favorite single-player games I've ever played in the Stinger Rampa 2. I'm chugging my Culver's Coke from three hours ago. Damn. Flaming Hot Cheetos. I like Flaming Hot Cheetos better than Takis, but... Cheetos are good. I love Cheetos. I actually haven't had Cheetos in quite a while. Very good. The dye is amazing, I agree. Pepsi takes longer to become syrupy, yeah. Pepsi is just... Beamer. I love Pepsi. LOL! Ten shield moment. Damn. I respect your decision on Pepsi, but I'm a Dr. Pepper fan, yeah. Oh no, Mickey. Soda in general isn't my thing. I don't like carbonation. That's valid, honestly. That's me with uh, carbonated water. I don't understand carbonated water at all. Like, what's so appealing about carbonated water? Can someone tell me? I feel like carbonated water... It's only for people that like soda, like the fizziness of the soda. It just, I don't know, it doesn't seem right to me. Like, I understand flavored water, but like carbonated water, like fizzy water. It's just kind of weird. I love breaking a pen shield in one shot. Oh, I almost got the kill. That's something. Also, that is true, Ticket. You're not wrong there. Also, yeah. I'd get a Pepsi, too, if I was offered carbonated water. No hate to people that actually do like carbonated water, but... I don't know. This seems kind of weird to me. Also, yeah, literally, like, LaCroix and those flavored waters, I feel like flavored carbonated water, like, it's either a hit or miss. Like, I feel like it, like, there's too much fizz and not enough flavor. Like, it just, it's more like tasting bland water, really, at the end of the day. So it's just different. It's a little mouth here, welcome in, if we're doing well. How many waters just unflavored soda, exactly? I know. I used to be, I used to like LaCroix a lot, but low-key, it's just not... What's the point? What's the point, bro? That's a little fry, welcome on, in, if we're doing well. Yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of different.
Yeah, I don't understand carbonated water. It's just so weird. Ooh, I got the three star badge on Dooley's. Wow. I didn't know I was that, um, uh, I didn't, didn't know I played that much Dooley's, I suppose. Huh. I never knew that I played that much Dooley's. That's kind of weird. Look at that. It's really weird. Um, I'll play Stamper. So yeah, I love talking about food. It's another thing I like talking about. <laughs> so I've yet to eat Culver's. If anyone lives in the proximity of a Culver's, <laughs> you should try Culver's. I know it's mostly a Midwestern thing, but there are locations around it's America, so... You are a funny American that lives near Culver's. He's tried out. I know the burgers are so good. Dude, I would love to be sponsored by Culver's one day, you know? I love Culver's. I talk about Culver's way too much. People are like, what the hell is that? It is basically like the better, the better. It's like in and out but like Midwestern and better, so. I've never had in and out before, so maybe that's wrong, but... I love... I love Culver's. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I should probably, like, take advantage of my friend who lives... Uh, not lives, but works at Culver's. Should take advantage of their discount someday. Like, half of the people at my school do for their things. Yeah, Culver's Solo's your fave. They sell great ice cream. Most locations have a different special ice cream every day. Um, their, their burgers are delicious. Um, they sell, like, their ice cream by the pint as well. You can, or you can cater for parties. There's, like... I don't know what they're called, but there's like different ways that they prepare the ice cream. Sometimes it's like mixed up. Sometimes it's just a malt or something. It's really good. Don't oh, know, Vicky. I live near a Taco Bell KFC hybrid. I've never heard of that before. That's really weird. Yeah, I love, I love Culver's. Like, I'm serious. If you actually live close to Culver's and you've never tried it before, you're missing out. They have cheese curds, y'all. Block to their doors. I love cheese curds, bro. And they're banger. I think they also have onion rings. They have, like, chili. Um, They have more than just burgers, y'all. My Midwestern bias is real, I know, but... Try it out. The food is actually really good. And their service is really good too, low key. Oh, yeah. So yeah, cheese curds are great. So I'm glad that you enjoyed your experience. The food is so good. Like it's so much different been like ordering something from McDonald's like yeah McDonald's hash browns are good and all but oh my god Culver's is just king of the crop man I love Culver's lactose intolerance is tolerated man those cheese curds get that concrete mixer exactly I love it. Real. Okay. 
We're gaming. Also, Culver's is good, I agree. Can we get the weapon generator out? Sure. Maybe I should... Maybe you should actually, um... Randomize my weapon as well. I'd do that. <laughs> exactly, Xbox. There's really Taco Bell KFCs hybrids? I've never seen that before. Also, another fast food restaurant that I've never been to before. Sorry, I need to adjust my chair here. But I'm, uh, Another restaurant that I've never been to or have eaten from is KFC. I've never had anything from KFC. I've had Raising Cane's. That shit is really good, but I've never had KFC before. And all my friends are like, don't they cook rats in the air in the fryer? <laughs> Maybe that's true, but I don't know, man. I love going into a Trizuka shot. So true. KFC's mid. Mac and cheese and biscuits are only a good thing about it. That's what I heard. But maybe one day I'll have to try KFC. It's true. Interesting. Don't think I've actually seen a Raising Cane's. I think they're pretty, uh, sparse. Uh, sparse? Is that the word? Sparse? I speak English as my own, only language and I still don't understand what the hell I'm talking about. Dude, if imagine going to Taco Bell and a KFC hybrid and eating both Taco Bell and KFC. I think you would, um... I think you would uh, be fighting for your life in the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry. My laugh is so ugly when I'm sick. But you would be fighting for your life. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to the game anymore. I'm just laughing about the fact that you would probably... <laughs> I imagine that the bathrooms are something else and that <laughs> probably look like there's been a war, a war in there or something. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh something really. You have to clutch the sides of the stall. Oh, I can't breathe, y'all. There's like my sinuses and crap are like all in my nose. I can barely breathe out my nose right now. This is so bad. Here I am laughing. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> laughing about. <laughs> oh my god. Laughing about. Uh... <laughs> Why am I laughing about the potential scenario that. You'd be... <laughs> be... <laughs> Ooh, becoming an angel with how much poo is coming out. Stop. <laughs> Why am I so mature on that? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, so yeah, Culver's is very much an American thing, unfortunately. Oh, so that's valid. It's good for I don't go out to eat either. What I do, it's good. What's happening with my laugh? Uh, I keep uh, laughing away from my mic. That's why. And I also, I sound very ugly when I am sick. When I laugh. I'm just imagining, like, someone, like, absolutely going to war with their stomach. <laughs> Imagine eating Taco Bell 
and then Oregon KFC, and then washing it down with Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Imagine that, bro. Why is always my comments make Flo to cry tree? I'm not crying! I already let out my tears today after laughing about, uh, with my friends at lunch. I forgot what we were laughing about. We were laughing at, uh, people's Instagram photos. No, it was laughing at my friend's cat. It looks like that black doubloons cat or whatever when that was still a thing. And then my friend was laughing at their cat because they, quote, looked homophobic. I remember laughing my ass off for that. I don't know why. Oh, I should have gotten the randomizer around. I'm sorry. Wasn't paying attention. Whoops. We'll get it out next time. Or the blue chest. The actor has left in that bathroom. <laughs> Can't wait to her voice. There's going to be a whole, uh... There's going to be a whole creeper explosion in the bathroom, you know? There's just going to be a random hole in front of the toilet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's fine, guys. We're perfectly fine. That, ch that chicken is gonna let her rip, dude. It's so embarrassing when you go in public restrooms. And I know this is, like, so immature for me to say, but, like... Yes, I will laugh in the bathroom under my breath if someone does... Let out a fart. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so immature like that. I'm sorry. Sorry if you thought highly of me. But I assure you, I will laugh every time I go into the bathroom when I hear someone farting. <laughs> we're good. Guys, we're good. Okay, sorry. Some cats exude homophobia. Honestly. I have a pin on my backpack for the four doubloons. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Like, I'm not kidding about that. I will genuinely laugh if I hear someone let her rip. Beyblade style in the freaking bathroom, okay? Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like that happened to me once in Olive Garden, but that could just be some random scenario. Oh no, it was like a... I was on a road trip or something, and it was in a random gas station or whatever. No, it wasn't a gas station. It was like this really elaborate gas station. Like one of those like almost supermarket gas stations. And then yeah, someone did let her up and I did kind of laugh. One of these days I'm like gonna catch like someone randomly doing that. And they're gonna be like, hey, what are you laughing at? It's gonna be so funny. Oh, I don't know why it's funny. Guys, I promise I'm mature. I just laugh at people farting. That's all. I do it at school too. It's so bad. Like, listen, if you're gonna, if you're, if you're gonna just toot a little bit, I will laugh. I'm sorry. It'll be funny. The funny thing that we can all laugh at together, you know? Yeah. I do not use the toilet at school. Um, the only time I use the toilet at school is that I really have to go, like, if I really, 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 really have to go. And even then, I only use, like, the, uh, the, the single bathrooms. Like, the, I don't use the ones with, like, the multiple stalls. I just use the, like, I guess single stall bathroom, I guess. But, yeah. Well, head out, baby girl. It's okay. You're safe here. That's right. It's my it's my stream, so I get to say whatever I want, such as laughing at people tooting. Oh see so yeah, school bathrooms are nasty. Oh, so yeah, my school only has, like, two single stall bathrooms. What people would call, I guess, gender-neutral bathrooms, but... It's weird because they're not labeled as such. It's just, like, a bathroom that people use, you know? But yeah. 
I know people call them gender neutral bathrooms, but we only have like two. Sometimes they're really disgusting though. On the wall, someone wrote ass, just like the word. I always laugh when I need to go to the bathroom and they just see ass worded on the wall. Kind of funny though. But, you know. You know, I. If you poop in a school bathroom, you, you get a medal of honor and courage. Because I could never, dude. I think one time I tried, and it didn't work out. I just didn't go. I was too much of a scary cat. So, yeah. So, I keep forgetting the randomizer. I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun talking about traumatic bathroom stories. My pronouns are he, he, and she, he. Oh, I should say it like that. She, he. She, he. He, she. Yeah, he, she. Very comedic. Exactly, Alan. I was going to the bathroom once, so I was looking for a garbage can to throw in my paper towel. Found it flipped upside down in the big toilet. I kid you. Okay. This is the story that I heard from a friend, but apparently in the girls' bathroom at, least, at my school at one point in time, my, like, my friend, like, I feel like it's a thing where people always try to use the same stall as possible because they're just comfortable with it. And I kid you not. My friend said that there were fruity pebbles inside the toilet. <laughs> there was a whole layer of them. <laughs> and I was like... Like, literally, I was like, what the fuck? Like, apparently there's a whole layer of fruity pebbles inside the toilet bowl. Listen, I don't know what happens in there, but that's kind of weird. Like, I'm serious. Like, I just... Apparently, they were just there. School bathrooms are weird. And having weird stuff in the in the, the toilets do not help. Also, another thing about school bathrooms. Like, I just don't. You're gonna be nasty, do it at home. Don't do it in the freaking public restroom. That's just kind of embarrassing. They did not eat any. But we, the other day, we were like a couple weeks ago, we were like laughing about it. We were laughing about it together. We were like, <laughs> want to take a sip? <laughs> then my friend was like pretending to like, I guess to, I think they took a picture of it and they're like, oh, we're just going to pretend to drink this. I'm like, okay. You have unicorns in the bathroom? I have no idea. See, the girls get fruity pebbles in their bathrooms inside the toilet bowl. Well, the guys just have Just, you know, piss on the floor, I guess. Which I don't know is better, but... Why do people have to be so disgusting when they go to the bathroom? You know, I feel like if society was a little bit more hygienic... Bathrooms would not have- public bathrooms would not have a bad rap. At all. Like, honestly. I feel like the sole reason why public bathrooms suck is because people are not hygienic. Or they just don't give a crap. Like, how about you trash your own home bathroom? Instead of ruining my bathroom experience before I get back into a car for another six hour ride, you know? I joined back to bathroom talk. That's right, soon. It's the float away. I'll swap back. It's kind of weird. I know, especially- yeah, I agree with you, Vicky. Also, Myung, hi! Sorry. I didn't notice you there, but welcome on in. I read your comment, but I didn't read the username, but it's good to see you. So yeah, I should get the randomizer out. If people want to just pick a random weapon, I suppose you can. Um... But here's a set of weapons. That I guess you can do. I'll just do this a couple times, I guess. I'll just do this a couple times, but... You know. It seems to happen every week. What do you mean? We don't talk about bathrooms every week. That's actually kind of cat. There it is. 
Yeah, sorry, I'm not like really focusing too much because um No, I did not mean to accept that invite. No friend request, but friend codes in the upper right. What bathroom do I go in? I mean, I'm a guy, so I go in the guy's bathroom. But most of the time, I just go into a single stall bathroom because I find that more comfortable. There's no one in the lobby besides me, bro. Come on. Also valid Xbox. Also, yeah, you guys can't join the first game, but you can join in the lobby. A lot of people that just sit in the bathroom on their phone for minutes on end annoys me. When people do drugs in the bathroom at school. Why? Why do you do that? Literally, my calculus teacher was talking about how people, like, just do drugs in the bathroom. And I'm like, if I did drugs in the bathroom, I would have just gone home. I would have skipped school entirely, bro. Like, why, why are you, why are you getting a little, a little high in the bathroom there when, you know, you can just, you know, do it at home, you know? Just saying. People be skipping class doing God knows what in the bathroom and pours fruity pebbles in the toilet or make some weird alchemist potion. Like, bro, I don't need this, like, I don't need to know what you do in your spare time, okay? I really don't. <laughs> That's what I say to all the people that make public bathrooms a mess. The principal comes on the announcement to help when I smoke in the bathrooms because it's obvious where they hide it. They had to shut down some bathrooms in my school because 30 people were... Uh, 30 people were crowded around this one stall in the bathroom. I wish I was kidding, y'all. I know my parents are sometimes like, why do you never, like, go out of your room? Like, why do you always play video games all day? But, like, would you want to have a kid that, like, purposely, like, I don't know. Like, I mean, if you want to do drugs, do them, I guess. But would you rather have a child that does illegal things? Or would you like a child that plays Splatoon and has no life? I personally think that playing Splatoon is just a little bit better than being a little mischievous guy. Yeah, because Splatoon is goaded. Also, don't ask Xbox. One time I've seen people, like six people crowd in the bathroom. The one time that the, the single stall bathroom wasn't open, there was like six people waiting outside this one stall. And I'm like, yep, I'm leaving. I can hold it. <laughs> like, legit. I, like, it is the worst. Like, what's the point? Like, how about you get your ass out of the stall and actually go to the bathroom instead of doing God knows what? What a condones drugs, y'all. You heard it hurt at first. <laughs> Listen, I don't. I don't condone drugs, but I also, like, if you do them, like, that's on you, so. It's obviously a difference, but yeah. <laughs> Lighthearted funnies. Slash J means joking. It's a good uh, tone indicator when using a chat because, um, sometimes reading text is a little, sometimes People take things the wrong way, and it's just easier to clear things up. Mm -hmm. You're acting like there's two options, Jim. I think it's funny as hell there's only three men's bathrooms at my all-girls school. That is a little funny, actually. I guess those are for the teachers. So dang, Sean, you must have a really good school then. Let's welcome on in, hopefully doing well. I'm gonna go ahead and do the randomizer. Thanks for reminding me. We'll do two more randomizer things after this. Um, I guess I can just, like... Um... Here's another set of weapons that you can choose from.
not everyone has to pick this, of course, but this is just for fun. So excuse me for burping, by the way. I don't like burping on streams, but sometimes it just happens. Um, I'll play Dooley's Cultures. Here's some more randomized weapons for people that want to do that. So well, how's my shirt not filled all the way? That's kind of dumb. Guy teacher gotta go? Sorry, man. You gotta walk halfway across the building? Yeah. Possibly. So dang, Vicky. Um, we are doing PBs. Um... Close to the three and a half hour mark of stream. We'll probably be playing a couple mini games before we end the stream in PBs, but the majority of the stream is just going to be us getting conch shells. Also, I forgot to accept that friend request that someone sent me. Thank you for sending me it, by the way. I apologize for being so slow. And just in time. There you go. Why are our burpees called burpees? That's a good question. Why are burpees called burpees? Like, you don't burp. I have no idea. It's kind of a weird dilemma. I haven't been getting conscious the entire time. How have you not been getting conscious this whole entire time? That's really weird. Interesting. You also don't realize that they track the amount of times you go to the bathroom a day. I know, exactly. <laughs> Sean, this is a sign you live in heaven. <laughs> Finland. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Also, yeah, tone indicators are very useful in chat. I'm not a person to always use tone indicators. But, um... Sometimes in just normal speech, I feel like using the slash J um, and the slash LH ones, I think, are the most, like, I guess most of the most important ones. Or slash S for sarcasm. I understand why tone indicators and why there's so many of them, but... Uh, I feel like uh, noting when you're sarcastic or joking or... Making a lighthearted joke is kind of, uh, kind of very important, honestly, because some people can't decipher that stuff. Especially if it's just over text. It's different over, obviously, voice chat. And yeah, to clear up satire as well. Sorry, I'm like living, um, just, uh, creating everything. Also, you live in a good place then, Sean, real. I still can't believe people watch me from all the way across the world. It's kind of insane. I don't know how you spell it, but it's probably named it because, like, an Amon appeal, like, Meow or Pow. Okay, yeah, LH is lighthearted. Like, you know how sometimes people call me. You know, an idiot or stupid sometimes in chat. Sometimes I'm able to decipher that stuff, but sometimes putting a slash LH at the end is... Helps me decipher. Most of the time I'm able to understand lightheartedness, but... I feel like it's pretty important. I didn't do too well that match. <laughs> Alan, I saw that meme. That's fine. Alan, the meme that you posted earlier about may your, uh, what is it? May your L's be many and your bitches few. Literally, um, my life statement. <laughs> so funny. How much longer is the stream gonna be? We've only been streaming for two hours, which, funny enough, I feel like time is going by really slow, which is really nice. I feel like time goes really slow when you're sick, but regardless. Yay, there we go. Not. Sub defense up. 
Um, yeah, basically... Um, also, the randomized weapon that I got was... Um, 52, but I wasn't able to switch. The Splatoobers Creed, yes? I saw this tweet the other day where it was like... Splatoon peeps don't, like, the spl uh, Splatoon... Splatoon community members don't have either of these four good grades. Um... A relationship. X power over 2600 and something else. It was kind of funny. <laughs> Really funny. Also, I wasn't able to screenshot it in time. The thing is, I can't really screenshot the randomizer too fast, so I might have to stop doing that until we get into, um... Until we get into PBs later on. I don't think I'm able to do it fast enough, considering how fast I get distracted. I'm sorry. Also, yeah, the sprinkler on the spinner is really nice. During energizers on like five ceremonies where students have to dance to get energized. So nice, got the dance moves. I for one can't dance. I wish I was able to. I wish I was able to dance and learn some dance moves. I just kind of sit around and move to the beat, but like I don't really. I don't really dance. People that are in dance or something like that, though, is pretty cool. Yeah, the world's a wild place. God. There you go. Well, so that's nice. You love to see good grades, honestly. Me here right now, almost failing my physics class. <laughs> oh, that class is hard, man. I think I'm doing better than like 75% of my class, so better than some. Wish I was kidding about that. Um, let's see. Dually structures. Skill issue. Yes, skill issue. I have many skill issues. Oh my god, I have this one drafted tweet that I should send out tomorrow. Because it's the best joke that I've thought of in a while, actually. Does anyone want to hear this joke? I've been meaning to post it for a while on Twitter, but I haven't... I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Does anyone want to hear this joke? It's actually really good. Also, I've never tried sushi before. I didn't even do that. I see a yes in the chat, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell my joke after the the match here. So you know how I always complain that I don't have cake. Like I don't I don't. I am a cakeless man. I'm a tree branch. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna send it out on Twitter right now. I think no, I'll send it later. But I said. God didn't give me no ass. Or no, God wouldn't, did not give me any cake because he knew... He knew, he, he knew that I would half-ass through everything. God didn't give me cake because he knew I would half-ass through everything. <laughs> oh, isn't that great? I'm so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I would say that's pretty impressive. Coming from me with bad jokes? Oh no, that's top tier. Listen, it's not that bad. That's a knee slapper right there. <laughs> Stop. Maybe that's like a dad joke or something, but I'm sorry. But yeah, God didn't give me cake because he knew it half ass for everything. Just saying. Oh shit, I closed down my chat. Chat! I can't see you. I closed out a chrome by accident. This is a sad day. Help. I cannot see chat. Eh. Chat, come back. I miss you. All right, you guys are opened up again. I see you guys now. Hello. I can get away with everything. <laughs> you see you guys in the bottom of the screen. It's just nicer seeing all of your PFPs. Also, I wasn't able to see your shirt, Mike. I don't know why I'm using Slosh Machine. I'm really bad at it. Damn. Also, why- you guys actually laughed at my joke? <laughs> that means a lot! <laughs> it means a lot. Silly- silly Flota with his silly jokes. I'm glad that people... I'm glad that people enjoy my jokes. They hilarious dumb jokes. See, I actually can think of really good jokes sometimes. You know? It's keywords sometimes. That really matters. So, hello, Neo. Welcome on in. Hopefully doing well. It's good to see ya. No chocolate's very good. For real. Seems like no chocolate's actually winning the poll. Which is pretty cool. Hopefully having a good day so far. I didn't think it was funny. Valid. No one is obligated to laugh at my jokes. My jokes are always bad. You're laughing, Flip Chota joke, and you're laughing. <laughs> Listen, I only tell the best jokes, okay? I overuse these nuts really jokes. Really feeling it! And I tell really bad jokes. So thank you for subscribing, by the way, Neo. Welcome to the Florida fam. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Allows me to plug in my daily Splatoon stream self shameless plug to like and subscribe if you enjoy funny, funny jokes or unfunny jokes, honestly. I don't care. But if you're enjoying the stream, obviously feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm a tough nut to crack. Yeah. I would make a joke about something right now related to that, but, um,. Hashtag Team Balls, what can I say? I enjoy unfunny jokes very much. Well, if you like bad jokes, I am very much a bad joke. <laughs> Alan! I, I... I don't know if I should... Uh, I'm just going to screenshot that. And I'm going to hide the message. That's so funny. I, I'm not letting that through my chat, but that is so funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Hydra. Also, yeah, I have Mawai. Mawai bestie. So true. 
Well, sorry, I bumped the mic a couple of times there. I don't know if I make really funny jokes either. That's fine. Sometimes you just gotta be unfunny, and that's just that's just how life goes. Also, I'll be accepting that friend request right now. Watch me speed run. All right, you are now friend and Neo. Where they going? Look at all the hydras! I love it. And we're all on the same team. Yellow's my fave ink color too. For real. Yellow ink is yellow ink color and funny splatoon is amazing. You know what's so funny though? My whole branding is based off the color yellow, and guess what? One of my least favorite colors is yellow. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite in many ways. <laughs> You know, and one of them is having a branding that is mostly yellow. Except it's mostly like an egg yellow. It really isn't like a, a neon yellow or anything. Neon green is the worst, I agree. Base taste, base taste. I'm scared of mincemeat metalworks as a tricolor map. It's gonna be interesting. I know leaders are gonna do something, but at least the ultra signal's below it, I think. The thing that's funny about Mincemeat being in tricolor is that there's a freaking car on top of a pole. I think that I find that super funny. Here, I can pull up the image. I think it's this one. Like, look in the background. There's like a random car hanging on top of a pole. Also, it's like the neon green that's really yellowish. It's not like the lime green neon one, but it's more the yellow green for me. Not actual like green or anything. Yeah, there's just a car on a pole. See? Oops, I accidentally uh I accidentally uh drove my car on top of a pole. Yeah guys. Car went uh a little too crazy on the dance floor and got stuck on top of the pole. Yeah. I can't wait for people to zip cast on top of that car and kill people on top. That'd be so funny. I know, I wish there was the funny mincemeat car pull. I don't know what the devs were thinking, but you know what? I like seeing cars randomly placed on objects, okay? I think that's funny. If you see a car on top of like a skyscraper, like, th like that's funny. If you see a car on top of like a Starbucks, that's kind of funny. Um, if you see a car on top of... Um... Honestly, if you see a car on top of a toothpick, it's, it's kind of funny too. Oh no. Random thing, I was in French class. And we were watching video about French schools and they were in English class. And they were giving an award speech and they used a styrofoam thing as a prop. Interesting. A car on top of Floda. I can make that happen. I can make that a reality. Let me do that right now, actually. Let me do this. <clears throat> Let me get this car. There you go. We need to mirror it now. There you go. Now there's a car on top of me. There you go. There's now a car on top of my head now. A fro- it's a flarola! <laughs> I am a car. Beep beep. <laughs> beep beep, mother- Sorry. Get a little too excited. 
I, when I was younger, I used to read car magazines on the toilet. And I wanted to own a Toyota Prius for some reason. Not realizing the consequences of society when you own a Toyota Prius. Innocent times. Hello! Welcome back, Spot Ninja! I have a car on top of my head, don't ask. It's the Flow Yoda. If someone actually draws me as a car, that'll be so funny. One day, I'm just going to commission an artist, and I'm just going to be like, Hi. I want to be transformed into a car. I want my Octoline to be transformed into a car. happen one day. Then again, I am a very frugal person and I... Maybe one day I'll be confident to actually pay money for memes. I have so many ideas. Dude, I love Toyota Lexus Honda Civic for 20 2016. That's my model car, bro. Okay, listen, but I'm kind of down bad for Honda Civics. You know? Whoever drives a Honda Civic, low-key, you know that they're... 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 They're God Gaming in a Honda Civic, okay? I feel like I've never met anyone lame that drives a Honda Civic. Like... Honda Civic's built different, bro. No one willingly buys a Honda Civic, unless your parents buy one for you. And then you become the best person on the planet because you have a Honda Civic. So it's a win-win. There's my Discord links in the description of the stream. You have to scroll down a little bit for it, though. Also, I am an Umi person because Octoling Boy Supremacy. I love spamming buttons. Jeez. No, my controller's not falling on the floor. That's not happening. GG's, everyone. Okay, but why is everyone retweeting the old Splatoon 3 Direct? As a joke. I've been seeing like this pop up on my Twitter feed because people were like, OMG DLC guys! DLC guys! Look at the freaking date. I'm getting baited by this crap. No way. People are desperate for Splatoon news. <laughs> also, you know what else happened? I need you guys to see this. I realized something very important. The, uh, before the stream.
Of course, there's a comm error. We'll reset the lobby. <laughs> but this goes hard. This image goes hard. Okay? That is not the image I want. This image goes hard, bro. I never noticed this. But this goes hard. Going into another lobby, by the way. I don't know why this goes so hard. I don't know why. Mr. Grizz, man. It goes hard. You know what else goes hard? Mawai. Mawai. Also, damn, Sophie. I love Moai, guys. Can't you tell? Moai goes hard in Splatoon 3 story mode. You can do it in the... I mean, I personally don't care what, whatever you want to do, Sophie, but if I had to pick, I would say... Um, I would just say Splat 3 just because, I don't know. I don't mind either or. anyone has made this yet but cats singing um splat attack like the meow sounds meow 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 like has that happened yet has anyone done that on youtube do i have to make that video do i have to make splat attack but it's cat singing the chorus I don't know why. If someone finds a video on cat singing spot attack, please send me that video. Yeah. Crab tank is kind of hard to use. Crab tank is uh, a special weapon. Just easier to be spammed though. It's the only unfortunate thing. Also, yeah, there is a uh, city in Sweden called Floda, yes. One of the very first things I looked up on the internet when I had my username. Is there anyone named Floda? And it was just this random town in Sweden. I've already seen Nightcord be turned into cats today on Splat Attack. Cat Attack! Got him! Meow! Meow 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 meow! Meow 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 meow! Okay, Nightcore music is not actually that bad, though. Half of the viral videos nowadays are literally, like, slowed down, um, TikToks. Uh, like, TikTok audios are just, like, slowed down their Nightcore. Nightcore is pretty cool, in my opinion, at least. Uh, 
Wait. Oh my god, this is funny. Hold up. I gotta share something funny with y'all. I'll just play Squipper. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ordered a new debit card! They rejected my request because they said I needed written approval from Terry Crews. Can y'all retweet or tag him so a girl can save some? I approve. Fuck. Not a comma, dude. Pardon my French. I just wanted to show a funny meme. Oh, that's so funny. Terry Crews on a debit card. Well, so much for showing funny memes. Oh well. Alright, here you go. Terry Crews broke the lobby. Damn right! Happy Valentine Day Salmon. Happy Valentine's Day for people that have partners. I will be celebrating on February 15th. Because that's funny. That name! Oh my god, dude. What? <laughs> I just realized the brush's name. The heck? That's so funny. Oh, sorry, I was like swimming forward and I forgot to jump. <laughs> I'm spacing out, bro. Spacing out like cray cray. Exactly, Swanage, I agree. Do you guys know I'm bad at Squipper? I'm so bad at Squipper. I ship two big shots. True. I'm a big, big shot enjoyer. Big shot gaming. All my life! Okay, I'm dead now. Flow Yoda. Let's go places.
You just game like that. So yeah, we're doing regular battles until we get around the three hour, three and a half hour mark of the stream. And then we'll go to PBs. It's usually what I do on Fridays, but I haven't been feeling too well, so we've just kind of... We're just kind of chilling, uh, honestly. Hmm. I'll play Reflux. Look at that ghost. Ready? Here we go. Low aggressive. You can say hundreds on car insurance. Damn right. Spokesperson's named below as well. All right, here you go. Double L three. Interesting. Let's get gaming here. Hi, besties. Hi, besties. I promise I'm decent with this weapon. I hate using tenor missiles. Do you all know that? Tenor missiles feel like a crime. I feel like I'm committing war crimes. Oh. So speaking of war crimes, I found out that Among Us the other day committed a war crime. Apparently. Which was kind of funny. They accidentally had their crosses red in the med bay area when it's illegal to do so for some reason. I found that pretty funny. God, ten missiles fly so fast. Splatoon is a crime? Splatoon is a game. The best multiplayer game of the year. You know? No cap. We have the better servers. We have the better game. Get on our level. I love Splatoon 3. In all seriousness, no, I, I love Splatoon. So it's a silly little game with silly little people inside my Nintendo Switch. And then I stream the game and then silly little people are in my phone. You know? That's how we roll. I'm gonna go into our Anarchy Open Splat Zones with Ink Rush. Yeah. Oh my god, I looked at my screen and I actually completely forgot I have a car on top of my head. That's funny. I'm the embodiment of Mincemeat Metalworks now, guys. I have a car on top of my head. I low-key kind of forgot. Sometimes you space out so much that you forget. Is it just me or sometimes when you look in a mirror after not looking in the mirror for a while, you forget what you look like? Is that just a me thing? Because low-key, I feel like... I don't, um... I don't look in the mirror for a while. Sometimes I forget what I look like. Kind of scary. This crab is <laughs> um, me. Alright. Are you posting on Twitter? I love I 
I love random people DMing me on Twitter. Alright. I'm scared to see this, Sophie. So yeah, crab gaming. I just remember it looked like I don't sleep because I don't. Gamer thing, yeah. Wait, what, Alan? What? Discord is saying my meme has explicit content, but it's literally the sniper from TF2 saying 2008 Toyota Corolla. Yeah, guys, a Toyota Corolla, explicit information. <laughs> How dare you talk about Toyota Corollas? Derogatory. God, I hate Toyota Corollas. SMH, dude. Why are you sending memes like that in my Discord server, Alan? How dare you? <laughs> I can't believe that happened, though, in all seriousness. I know, that's so explicit censor that stuff, you know? Toyota Corolla is... It's not a good thing to say. I don't know what it means, but it's not a good thing to say, really. What's hello, Koyaks. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Top secret information? I see. Welcome on in. It's good to see ya. I can't believe Toyota Corollas are just... They're just taboo, bro. You don't- you just don't talk about someone that rides, uh, like, that, that just drives a to Toyota Corolla. It's just... Have you seen any happy person drive a Toyota Corolla before? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, if I were to ever have a car when I'm, like, 40 years old, it'd probably be a Toyota Corolla, Loki. Oh, no. Alright, I'm hearing about many different things happening on the server. And stuff. Oh my god, Sean! Wait, what? It looks like a school bus is on top of my head. Hold up, I gotta share this. Eh. I'm so bad at aiming with reflux. Hmm. Never mind, I say that and I'm pretty good at it. Eh. I'm so bad. Hold on, after this match, I'll uh, show the, the flow Yoda. I'm unfortunately a very bad multitasker. And I play Splatoon. For some reason, I can read chat, but that's about the extent that I'll go, you know? Stop! <laughs> ah, 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 ah. All right. Why? <laughs> Sean. Look at the school bus afro. Gaming. That's so funny. Wait, what? I look so formal. I'm the school bus driver. Your mom tells me to worry about. I'm just that godly, bro. That is so good. I love it. Please let this be a normal field trip. With the flow? No way. Aw. Dude, I would be Miss, Miss Frizzle. 
with the flow? No way. <laughs> exactly. Dude, I love Magic School Bus. I love Magic School Bus. It's a it's a float of truck, yes. Also, Sean made that, by the way, in chat. And then we have Sophie's drawing too. <laughs> Why does it look like something out of cars? <laughs> Why does it look something out of cars, bro? We have the magic school bus, right? Magic school bus, and then we have something straight out of cars. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Something straight out of cars. <laughs> but dude, I love Magic School Bus. Magic School Bus? Draw a game. I love Magic School Bus. Magic School Bus is the best. We finally get Scorch. So my monitor is not working right now, so I can't see chat. Magic School Bus made learning actually fun. No cap, bro. No cap. Speed facts, Vicky. I remember when I used to watch Bill Nye the Science Guy and Magic School Bus for every science class because my teachers would not, like, just could not teach science. But it made it even more fun, so. It's worth I love Magic School Bus. I didn't expect me, uh, people to actually draw freaking flow cars today, but you know what? It's all right. Remember, guys, Toyota Corolla, you just don't say it. It's the curse word in the chat, okay? Oh, you Toyota Corolla. <laughs> oh. You Toyota Corolla, how dare you? How dare you? I got the gasoline. Gas, 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 I'm stepping on the gas. Du -du 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 -du. Hey, hey, hey. It's for horses. Okay. Have you ever had teachers or your parents say, Anytime you say hey, I used to ha have this preschool teacher. Anytime I would say hey, like at like a student or whatever, and then they would, s and the teacher would be like, hey is for horses. Has anyone had that? Consider the following if you put a hot dog in a flashlight, nothing happens. <laughs> also, my monitor is messed up, y'all. My monitor is frozen right now. I can literally only read the chat on the bottom of my screen. I'm so sorry. How am I able to actually like, do this? My monitor's actually frozen. <laughs> Guys, my, why is my technology being so stuck right now? I'm still able to stream, but... Well, I fixed it. I pressed the Windows button and everything went back to normal. Weird. Might have to update OBS. Maybe that's what it's trying to tell me. I'm that person that, like, skips four updates before updating. <laughs> For some reason. My mom used to say that. Dude, hay is for horses is such a cringe saying. Like, I don't get it. It's so obnoxious. I remember in preschool, that one bossy teacher assistant would always say it. And I would, like, I wouldn't, like, lash out, but I'd, like, give her some, like, some, like, raised eyebrow emoji. Like, what are you doing? Weirdo. You know? Also, welcome back, Neo. Shouts all lurkers, by the way. Car on top of a float of the world that has started the float of car revolution, you yeah. Um, actually, literally. Oh, I have the meme I was trying to send in Sophie's tweet. Oh my god, I see it. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I'm retweeting that. Alan, that's so funny. The Toyota Gorilla video. Alright. Here, do this. Alright. I'm gonna play... 
play Wiper. Um, actually, Flota isn't a complete sentence. Okay, but can I tell you guys, when I first got Discord for the first time, I used to always, always... I got a ten missile badge. That sucks. Um, I would always end my sentences in a period. I would always put a period at the end of my sentence. No wonder why people kind of disliked me because they thought I was stubborn. I always, always put periods at the end of my sentences. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. I always put periods at the end of my sentences. Um, I remember, like, looking back, like, admittedly, yeah, some of my very first friends on the internet were very toxic people. But, like, I could have easily, like, have not seen that toxic side as fast enough if I didn't end my sentences with an actual period. It's the same way where I feel like people always capitalize every word in the sentence. Like, it's just, that's not how people type on the internet. You know? So it's like... I always ended my sentences with a period. <laughs> okay, Grammarly, yeah. But... Like, yeah, I'm not even lying. Like, some people actually thought it was kind of, like, stubborn. Because I only ended my sentences in periods. I didn't- I like, no one types like that. You know, I literally... Yeah, I said hi, period. That's what I did. I always capitalize the very first word in a sentence. I always... Um... I don't know. That's what I did. I always did that. Now, most of the time, if I ever even end a sentence, it's with, like, a exclamation mark or question mark. I know, I would say no. I would always have a period. Sometimes I would even apologize for not having a period at the end of my sentence. I was that type of person for a couple months. Then over the course of a couple months, I'm like, wait, people actually don't type like this. Fun fact. But, yeah. Welcome back, Most Ready. People, with, people who capitalize every letter in the sentence makes them so bad. I don't mind people actually typing, like, with periods at the end of sense, but yeah, I agree with that. I feel like that's such a pain, though. Like, maybe it's an autocorrect thing, because sometimes autocorrect does that, but... It's like, I don't know. It does make me feel a little mad. I'm sorry, but I can't be subscribed to a person with the internet! Guys, I promise, I don't do it anymore. Um... I actually don't type like that, though. At this point, I just spam, like, five emojis after every sentence. Texting my IRLs and texting my online besties. I always end my sentences with, like, five different emojis. Do you know that... that everything's good? So, sure, feel free to share if you'd like, last ready. Um, Splat Ninja, I kind of was. Um... Except in middle school, on my very second day of school ever, in middle school, um, I was sick. Um, so, I literally had perfect attendance for the- for all my years in middle school, except that streak was ended on the second day of school ever, in middle school. I- I'm very strict on attendance. So, I don't see it, Lost Ready. I don't see it on my server right now. Unfortunately. The Discord link's in the description. It's all the way on the bottom. I do that on purpose. Because only true fans scroll to the down of this- uh, all the way down in the description. But yeah. 
Am I the person here who has perfect grammar? No idea. I'll see you later, uh, Klimpaloon. Thanks for stopping on by. Have a great rest of your night. Oh man, we've been going for three hours. Most likely, we'll probably get into some PB soon. I don't know how many comp shells I've collected, but I'm gonna have to check. Oh my god, that's cool, Ostrady. What the heck? That's so funny. I'm gonna have to share that after this. Also, the link should still be valid. People have joined through that link. That's really weird. So yeah, I have been streaming for three hours. You know, on my Discord server, I said, I'm gonna only stream for three hours today. I don't feel well. And then here I am talking about Toyota. And talking about random stuff. Yeah, I used to, uh, type in periods, too. Um... What's another thing that I used to do when I was early on in the internet? I used the winking emoji. I think some people, some of my older, uh... Some of my older fans, I guess, would know this, but... I used to use the winking emoji casually. I wish I was kidding about that. I did not know the implications of that when I was a noob on the internet. Um... What's another thing? Yeah, I used the wink emoji a lot. Um... I would all, like, sometimes, like, anytime... I don't know. I don't know why I used it. Let me be honest. I usually, I like, one time, like, I scrolled back in DMs from, like, 2020 and 2021, and I was like, hey, wanna hop on Splatoon? And then my friend would be like, OMG, yes! And I'd be like, oh yeah, wink emoji. <laughs> I'm like, that's not what you do! You like use the flushed emoji or like, oh yeah, and it's like a cool emoji or the wary emoji or whatever. Like, you don't send a winked emoji like that. You just don't. Yeah, those are some of my internet noob days back in 2019 and 2020. Good, good times to uh, look back on and cringe really badly. But it was an interesting time. At least I don't do that anymore. No, I don't do that anymore. Though I did have one conversation in DMs before with a friend and it was literally just we just spammed smirk emojis I love spamming emojis that's my favorite thing to do yeah I remember spamming smirking emojis in one person's DMs because we thought the smirking emoji looks funny because it kind of is low-key then I remember spamming you Moai and another it was kind of funny So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't end my sentences with periods anymore, and I don't, I just don't, bro. Also, I did see it, yes, last ready. I've yet to share it, but now I will. It's perfectly fine if you draw on paper too, but look at it. Look at the flow mobile. It's like a little old like Ford Model T. Looks straight out of cars as well. That's kind of funny. Poor little Woomy over there, a little saddened. <laughs> I don't really use emojis. Valid. Sometimes emojis are unfunny. You know what my favorite emoji is? My favorite emoji is, uh... Hold on, I gotta pick a different weapon. I'll pick Undercover. I'm not quirky. Um, my favorite emoji is the wary emoji. Where is it? I like the Mawai emoji, but if we're talking... 
Sorry, my bowl that held my pizza rolls before the stream fell on the floor. This is my favorite emoji. Oh, wait, no, actually, yeah. I don't know why, but the wary emoji, it's like a sigh emoji, right? It's a sigh emoji, and it's funny. That's my favorite one. I don't know why. Just like a, oh, man. That's my favorite emoji. I love the weary emoji expresses a lot of different expressions, as well as the Moai one. The Moai one will always be number one, but I love the weary emoji. It's my favorite. I also like the YouTube emojis, Loki. I do, I do. My favorite YouTube emoji is, um... My favorite YouTube one has to be the, um... <laughs> it's this one! <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Also, not the smirking emoji, bro. <laughs> I love the YouTube emojis. Also, I do... Do I sound... Okay, off topic, but do I sound like a nerd emoji when I'm sick? My nose is really stuffy right now, and usually I have a very nasally voice. Do I actually sound like a nerd... Chat, be honest. Do I sound like a nerd emoji right now? Do I sound like my nose is stuffy and I have a lisp? It's not a bad thing, but I just I just need some evaluation here. I don't? Okay. Thank you, chat. Well. <laughs> Kinda, but no. Okay. So, I'm not a nerd. Okay. Sometimes I feel like my like when you like hear your own voice outside a video, like you you think it sounds some certain way. I remember being in fifth grade and being like, oh my voice is very like calm. And then I talked in a science video that we had to record for class and my voice was like loud and obnoxious and I'm like, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a I'm not under an emoji there. I love that emoji. Is that Sans? And have a bad time sort of deal. Yeah. Oh no. How's FNAF? FNAF was great. We completed the first four nights of FNAF 2. Um, we have yet to complete night five, which we'll be doing hopefully next week. I wanted to play Power Washing Simulator. I might have to put up a poll for that on Sunday. What do you want to see me play? FNAF or Power Washing Simulator? So apparently that game came out um, on Switch a couple days ago. Or am I playing Uno? But we'll see. We'll see. So that's valid lost ready. I know some people are only able to make it for certain days of the week. That's valid. That's why I have the VODs up, so people can watch them if they want. I'm playing Sonic Mania in, like, March. I promise. It's gonna happen, Alan. Excuse me. Me when I sniffle. I sound like that. Like that. Nerd emoji, guys. I mean, uh, guys. Did you know that Beretta is the best weapon in the- Actually, no. Beretta is the worst weapon in the game, guys. Oh my god, guys. I love the Beretta. The Beretta, 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 Beretta is the worst weapon ever. I love the Beretta. It's so good. I love the Beretta. I think Power Washing Simulator is on Switch. Yeah. So that's valid. Let's try a little Janice. Welcome on in. Yeah. Or washing simulator. Never played or seen the game, but I've heard good things about it. What if I go tuber? Hold on, you good? Never. Also, no Koya hugs. Violin. And you finishing Amori is great. I hope you enjoyed the game. Oh my god, that's so funny, Xbox. Look at the car! 
Me, 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 me. Magic school bus. Oh, yeah. Imagine me pulling up in this. Guys, this is the car that I drive. Mm -mm. Guys. What if I pulled up like this? What if I pulled up? What if I pulled up like this? What if I drove to Culver's in this car? What if I did that? The way the afro is floating. Yes, it's floating above the car. Also, I saw the nerd emoji one, Sean. I'm going to have to show that later. Okay, so I pull up. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can show the nerd one now. Nerd emoji. Nerd flow da. Yeah, I leaked my car, guys. This is what I drive, actually. Also, Xbox, I can't believe you named it Tiny Ass Eyes PNG. That's so funny. <laughs> this is a car that I drive, guys. I drive a Honda Civic. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't drive Honda Civic. I don't. I do look like a Cars character, though. I do. I'm just hot. You know you're hot? When you drive, or rather, like, you, when you're turned into a car, honestly. Oh my god, so many cars today, bro. I've never received so much cars in my life. Flow is just like, so about that. But yeah, oh my god, guys. First of all, I appreciate you all for making Founder, even though it was a silly idea that I made up. <laughs> Second of all... Maybe I should be... Maybe for next Halloween, I need to become the magic school bus. That's what I need to be. I just need to be in a cardboard box, you know? Magic school bus. Pull it up to school in magic school bus. The barber gave him the wrong haircut. Dude, I can be Miss Frizzle. Maybe. But do I want to turn ginger? Hmm... No hate to genders, guys, but... All my IRLs that are genders... They're built different. I don't know if I can handle that power. I'm actually thinking about maybe cosplaying a character at some point. You know? I have a crush on the certain, uh, and Rampa character. Um, who has really long hair. And maybe one day I can just put red contacts in my eyes and wear a business suit. And then I can call myself that I cosplay as him. And for people that know, you know. If you don't, that's fine. But yes. All hate to genders, actually. Honestly. I mean that lightheartedly if you're actually a ginger... It is for lighthearted gags, I assure you. There is no beef with the genders. Just, you know. Yeah. How do you shade chocolate? No idea. I feel like shading in art is just a hard thing to do in general. So that is some deep cars lore. I heard that cars has some really deep lore. I didn't know it was that deep though. Who's playing Gootuber? Lemon playing the Gootuber. You know, shading just seems hard in art. That's why I applaud all the artists. I cannot art for the life of me. The last time I even created a piece of art, excuse me, was in uh, 2020, I think. I can show you it. For my old viewers who might have seen this 5 million times, but I can show it after this match. I'm so bad at art. I despise making thumbnails. Did you guys know that? 
I'm horrible at art and I'm only decent at thumbnails because I forced myself to do it. <laughs> the one ick about streaming on YouTube is making a thumbnail. Honest to God. But I always appreciate artists real. All right, let me... Let me share my art with you all. Um... Where'd my art folder go? Did I delete my art folder? That would have been funny, actually. Wait, why do I have this random screenshot on my computer? Why? Wait, why do I have that? Oh. Sorry, guys. Oh, there it is. There's my doodles. Um, let's see. Where is my good art at? Wait, do I not actually have it? Wait, no, I don't have my ultra stamp art anymore. Fuck. Well, I used to draw a little bit. Oh shit, that's like really zoomed in. I'm sorry. This is like Floda Hollow Knight back in like 2020. Look at that. Look at the cutie. Look at the cutie. Apparently a Vori's in my doodles folder. Don't question that. I'm not going to question that at all. Look at that. Look at that little Hollow Knight buddy. <laughs> I'm just really bad at uh, drawing. He's cute though. All right, here you go. So thank you so much for you all appreciating the stream, by the way. I just look at the like count. You're enjoying the stream, though. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. We're probably going to start PBs after this round. Just an FYI, because I know some people might want to play some mini games. And we haven't played Turf for a little while. To be honest, I don't know how many conch shells I've gathered, but... Hopefully I got enough. I love this uncle, yes. Starting drawing the Riz Apple. <laughs> Wait, no, not that apple, dude. Not the Riz Apple. Stop. Bunny's bullying me. Help. Damn. Okay, there you go. I'm dead. Great. We're gaming. Love if I can still see the arrows. Solo Emery, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, doing well. Good to see ya. <laughs> Short in their pants. Emery, I'm always so confused about your username sometimes. I mean that in a lighthearted way. Sometimes. <laughs> I want to read your uh, your full username, and then it's just like Landon and Madden shart in their pants, and it's low key kind of funny. <laughs> I get a good laugh out of it sometimes. I have no idea what the context is behind it, but funny profile names. I cannot think of such. Yeah, shout out to Landon and Madden for sharding in their pants. Because we all make mistakes, you know? It all started because of a funny Mario Party stream, that's funny. <laughs> I 
I'm surprised YouTube even allows you to put Shart in your freaking YouTube profile name. That's absolutely hilarious. And they're so funny. Silly, silly, silly YouTube. Oh my god, Sophie, I remember your old username. That was a different time. We don't talk about that. I forgot about that. Anywho, we're gonna reset here. We're gonna get into some mini games. Try and code in the upper right if you want to join on in. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do some mini games for a bit. Um, how many conch shells do we get? Watch it be like four. It is four. I love playing the game and getting no conch shells, guys. So fun. Well, I can say it's uh, slightly successful, maybe. All right, we're gonna do some gaming now. So passwords forty six six. Feel free to join on in. We're gonna go in. Also, yes, see those Splatfest is has votes up right now right now so feel free to do that i wonder why they allow you to name you balls no idea no idea i'm on team dark chocolate for the splatfest I'm a Team Dark Chocolate supporters. Also, hello, Dulce. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Hopefully, I'm saying your name right. So, yeah, feel free to add me. Code's in the upper right. So, I'm just realizing the car shadow's upside down. A little troublesome. I'm going to get rid of the car. I'm thankful to not have gone through lots of username changes. But, yeah. It's interesting. So did you guys know that it's Elmo's birthday today? Completely random, but I know. I'm really feeling it! So thank you, Dolls, for subscribing, by the way. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Hopefully, this does not crash my stream or my thing. There you go. So dang, Alan. I've had mine for... Well, if you look at my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel was created in 2016. I didn't actually start making videos until 2018. Dude, I remember when I first created my YouTube channel. It was a hot summer day. No, it was in the um, September. So by, by the way, pass is 4866. Numbers in my name. Um, It was like random September. And... I don't know. I had a Dragonite profile picture, which is surprising. Anyway, we're going to do some mini games, so feel free to join on in. Pass is 4866. Everyone is friended. So feel free to go in. So that's fine, Sophie. It's valid. Elmo has a birthday, yeah. I'm <laughs> dang Squiffer. Password is 4866 if people want to join on in. We're going to be playing uh, Laser Tag first. Charges only, no subs and specials. We're going to be playing some mini games, so feel free to join on in. Password is always 4866. Alright. Remember, charges only. No subs or specials. We're doing a Wahoo. Ooh, crap. I need to take my Night Quill. I should expect. Okay, 
Next match, I have to go downstairs and take my NyQuil. <laughs> Oops. I need to take my NyQuil so I can go to bed. Oopsies. Oopsie tootsies. Loaded in oopsies. Mm, play YouTuber. Remember, no subs or specials. There you go. Nyquil. Yeah, I took Dayquil today. Um. That only lasted half the school day, though. I don't believe Dayquil is supposed to taste like anything. So no, I'm not having NyQuil chicken. What even is NyQuil chicken? I've never heard of that before. What even is NyQuil chicken? Can someone tell me? Because I legit don't know what it is. Dude, NyQuil hits different, bro. Anytime I'm sick, I have to rely on NyQuil now. I had the flu, right, in December? I don't remember... No, I still streamed. No, you know what happened? Because I... I don't know if I ever told you guys that I had the flu in December. I might have done that once. During, um... Like, I might have said that, like, once on a stream. But, like, the symptoms were so few because it was, like, a Friday. Because I didn't stream all that week. Besides on Friday. Um, but like Dayquil, Nyquil carries, carries, bro. No, I don't even know what Nyquil chicken is. Chat, you're scaring me. Nyquil chicken? Should I look up what Nyquil chicken is? I don't know how to feel. I've actually never heard of NyQuil chicken. No, I've never. No. Also, that's funny, you know. Look at your own risk. Guys, what even is NyQuil chicken? <laughs> is it even chicken? Is it something completely different? Is it gonna sabotage? And the FBI is gonna storm through my door if I look up NyQuil chicken? No, do I? Okay, I, before I show it on stream. I will. Before I show it on stream, I will look it up myself. Hello, oh, Lacey. Welcome on. I hope we're doing well. Guys, Nightbolt Chicken's a thing? Stop. You gotta be kidding right now. You guys have to be pulling a prank on me. It's safe? <laughs> Chat, I better not be putting up like a ch NyQuil chicken, but it's secretly like some not safe for work thing. You know Susan doesn't like that stuff. Chat, you have to be trolling me. There's no way that NyQuil chicken is a thing. It's cur okay, it is safe. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so I can show it on stream. I'm so scared to look it up. Oh my god, okay. I'm actually kind of scared to look it up now. So no subs, by the way. Alright, um... I'm gonna look it up, guys. Alright, NyQuil Chicken. No, I looked up NyQuil children. Oops, sorry. <laughs> NyQuil chicken. <laughs> what? Fuck. 
Um. <laughs> what the f is that? <laughs> I'm crying about nine cold chicken. Shit, why am I crying about that? Why? <laughs> show you guys a couple okay oh okay what in the is this <laughs> what is this reaction what is this <laughs> ah. oh. okay what <laughs> okay this is it looks so bad though it looks like someone poured like mountain dew on chicken i've never heard of this before Why does it look like that? It looks like shit. <laughs> Why? Why does it look like that? That's disgusting. Why is it green? Why does it look like Nickelodeon slime? I... Can someone get past the bleach and put in my eyes right now? <laughs> These thumbnails are so funny, though. <laughs> Sleepy. Sleepy chicken. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Should he be chicken? Oh. oh! Sorry, chat. I'm literally crying over NyQuil chicken right now. I can't believe this is actually real. Apply <laughs> holy water to eyes. Sleepy chicken! <laughs> oh my god, the emojis! Okay, hold on. Bro, flushed emoji. <laughs> Sleepy chicken! Oh my god! <laughs> also, a little bee bug on it. <laughs> Sleepy, oh my god, it's so funny! Sleepy chicken! Should that be the thumbnail to my next stream? Should I just put Sleepy chicken as the next... as the next thumbnail? Should I do that for next week? <laughs> Sleepy chicken. His ass is not awake. Oh, not the Pepto Bismol, dude. What? Someone said fire to Nyquil chicken? Of course, a Twitter user would randomly post this. If she makes you NyQuil chicken, do not let her go!
okay, I'm gonna show this real fast, okay? But why? <laughs> this image, okay. <gasps> Ooh, that nausea's in there real. Hello, Trev, welcome on in. Oh. What? Is it like that? Why? Why is the NyQuil edited to be like morphed like that? <laughs> Trev, my chat mentioned freaking NyQuil chicken. the liquify tool i have no idea <sighs> chat i honestly can someone pass plate hold on i'm gonna bleach i'm gonna get some bleach i'm gonna get some bleach okay i'm I'm sorry, chat. I need I need to I need to do this. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, chat. I need to I need to bleach my eyes. I need to bleach my eyes, guys. I can't. I can't. I can't. I need to unsee that. Pass some to us, share with the class. All right, chat. Here you go. Bleach chain. Ah. <laughs> Bleach chicken, it burns. <laughs> Stop! I didn't know. I didn't need to know that people bleach their chicken. I didn't need to know that. Why do we? Stop. Be for real. Be for real. Be for real. Do I have to look up what bleach chicken is? I'm looking up bleach chicken right now. Bleach chicken. Oh, they are rinsed with anti-microbial chlorine. Okay, chicken's actually bleached. Wait, what the heck? Washing chicken in chlorine and other disinfectants to remove harmful bacteria was a practice banned. Oh, shit. Wait, no. <laughs> oh, oops. Banned by the EU in 1997 over food safety concerns. U.S. chicken meat is washed in chlorine to remove bacteria. Are you for real? I don't want to eat chicken ever again. What? It's not like Clorox bleach, but it's a chlorine solution to prevent salmonella.
on quote on quillrow.com there's a forum that says sometimes i wish raw chicken i no i wash raw chicken with a cat full of bleach the faint odor disappears after a few minutes in the oven is this a quarantine chicken some folks are screaming about I'm never eating chicken again. I'm not. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, come on. Why is oven roasted rotisserie chicken being recommended to me, bro? Related searches. Chicken lead. Hold up. <laughs> no. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this, this is a thing. <gasps> There's a chicken lead selling for $14 on Amazon. 4.2 out of 5 stars. Let's see those reviews. Hold up. Enhanced chicken training to the fullest. See all reviews. <laughs> Someone said Hennifer did well in this till my horse walked by and she tried to fly. <laughs> what the fuck? She almost got out of it, but I caught her mid-flight. What kind of shit post am I reading? Okay. Once I was done hysterically laughing, I got her back in the harness. Word on the farm is that Hennifer is pissed that I even tried this. <laughs> I even tried this on her. And she is now going to peck my feet if I ever try it again. I tried on on Karen the next day. And she squawked repeatedly, asking if it made her butt look big. <laughs> I will try it on Dinah soon. She's a bigger hen, but I'm sure it will fit. If you want your husband to look at you, shake his head and wonder why he married you. This is the chicken leash for you. What is this review? Two people found this helpful? Stop. Am I looking at Reddit or is this like... What is this? Also, yeah, we should probably get back to the game. But, uh... That's actually a real review, guys. It's an actual real review. I'm scared. Chat, I blame you. I blame you partially for this. I never want to eat chicken again. But speaking of which, uh, we're going to head to the Macamart and we're going to play some My Mania. Ink mines only, no mains or specials. Only killing with your ink mines. Loda would be a good name for a chick. You did not just say that my name is good for chicken. What is this Flota Slender? I look up NyQuil Chicken and I get cursed. I... Opti? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna be honest. Lobster? I literally have no words because I'm still getting over the fact that NyQuil chicken was a thing. Um. Oh, 
But yeah, ink mines only. No mains or specials. It's the game. The name of the game. I'm staying awake because my chat My chat just loves talking about chicken Also only subs please Thank you Whoever the ink brush is, please only use your sub. Thank you. Only mines. So welcome back, Koyox. I think I went through a fever dream. I swear, if anyone types the word chicken in my chat, um, Not to be a party pooper, but I kind of want to have a fun time tonight. Um, so... Please follow the rules. Um... I'm trying to be funny and silly, but, uh... We're playing mini games, so please follow the rules. I explicitly tell everyone how the rules work. Um... We're gonna play that mini game again. I was gonna be silly... But people can't seem to follow the rules right now, so. I think I explicitly tell people the rules. Ink mines only. No main or special. That is the game. Just, just to let you all know. I'm not trying to be a salty person, but I just kind of want to chill today, okay? No, I actually didn't leave because someone typed chicken. I was going to joke about that. I was going to say whoever types in chicken will get uh, timed out. But for fun. But... No, I, I, I would never end a Splatoon game because of chicken. Though it would be kind of funny if I did. No. <laughs> No. I actually kind of like eating chicken, though. But I don't know if I can eat chicken after seeing NyQuil chicken. I really can't. Oh, man. Also, you got a chicken ad? That's so funny, Sophie. That is hilarious. What if I go on my own stream on my thing here? I have no idea. Don't look in the Flota fan art. I'm looking in the Flota fan art. Oh my god, why is Flo passed out, bro? This is literally me right now. Me passed out. The shenanigans have overcome me. Crazy town. Crazy town. That whole chicken sandwich thing hits different now. Mm-hmm. Exactly, Trev. This is just a Burger King foot lettuce type beat. I hate how you're right. I literally hate how you're right about that. Because it does ring Burger King foot lettuce.
Yeah, I'm gonna need to take my actual NyQuil now. I said I was gonna spec during this match, but... Clearly, there were other things that happened. But, yeah. See, so, yeah, I'm dead. Passed down in that image. <laughs> oh, chat. You know what's so funny, though? I actually don't have a headache anymore. And I don't know if it's because I looked up NyQuil chicken, or I've been laughing my ass off about chicken leashes. No special, please. It was the NyQuil. I actually haven't taken the NyQuil yet. I still need to go downstairs. But no, I've been looking up NyQuil chicken instead. Like a loser. What'd you do over the weekend? Oh, I looked up NyQuil chicken. Oh, man. I'm not cooking with chicken. I have cooked chicken before over a fire, but... <clears throat> I'm not cooking with Nightfall, no way. Honestly, this is such a chill stream except chicken. Listen, Flota streams are chill when they're not, actually. Fun fact. Like, Flota streams are chill when they're not. Mm-hmm. Also, see you later, Trev! Thanks for joining us. It was low-key kind of funny, though, that all my mods came in when I was looking up NyQuil Chicken. They all got summoned. I don't know how to deal with that. Alright, you know what? To save my energy... Um... We're not going to do mini games. I'm done. Um, I'm. I swear I keep like saying that my uh, mini games are really easy to understand and they are, but. I don't know. We're just gonna play a normal round now. Because clearly people can't play mini games properly. I want to play mini games, but <clears throat> I also have very limited patience. Yeah, I have more patience with NyQuil Chicken than people that cheat in my mini games. Unfortunately, because I should have no patience when it comes to Nyquil chicken, whatever the hell that is. I'm not blaming... I'm not blaming chat for that one. When there's one person that cheats in the minigame, it ruins the whole chemistry for everything, so I'm just not gonna bother, honestly. Just gonna waddle away, waddle waddle, you know? Yeah, I'm not blaming anyone for n not following the rules. It's just I'm seeing people just not follow them, so. To avoid Flota ranting about why people shouldn't stream, like, cheat in minigames, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep going here. Alright, here we go. Okay, here you go. Big swig! My gaming. Oh, 
Also gray, no. Don't bring it up, the curse words. Hello, Inkback. Here we go. Damn. You know what's so funny about all this? The earliest mention of chicken in the stream was when people were talking about Taco Bell and KFC. We were literally talking about chicken earlier. And then all of a sudden... Whatever the hell happened, happened. I hate it here. I hate how my conversations are so in-depth that they eventually loop back together again. Makes me realize I have a lot more power than I think I do. Oh yeah. That's right, Sean. Everything goes back to suffering. <clears throat> Suffering for the funnies. I know, that's what you mentioned, Tapu, and all goes back around the circle again. Is this a regular Flota stream? This is your average Flota stream, yes. You only get the high quality. Oh my god. You know what? You know what I should do? Have you guys ever seen those TikTok videos with like three different um, videos happening at the same time? Like the Family Guy and the Subway Surfers and like a movie clip? Maybe I should upload my streams on TikTok. About like, like stream highlights. Except I have Subway Surfers gameplay. That's what I'll do. Maybe I should just upload videos like that. I'll just upload a video of my stream, my amazing Splatoon gameplay, and I'll just have the um everything and stuff. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's right. The soap ASMR videos. Everything has to be invited to that, you know? All right. We're gonna reset the lobby. All right. My nose bleeding. Oh, it's not. Okay. Gotta scare there for a minute. All right. I'm making a new lobby. If you were in the last one, please don't rejoin until the next one. This will be the last ranked battle lobby, but we will reset the lobby again for a squid party. I need a spec because I need to um, take some NyQuil, like for real, for real. So, uh, we're going to do that. So then I can become a sleepy floata, you know, a sleep duh, you know. Yeah, feel free to join on in. <gasps> NyQuil chicken! <sighs> You're done. I want to spec NyQuil chicken so bad.
Xbox, why? Not you being NyQuil chicken. Reform Orthodoxy Rabbi Bill Clinton? What the hell are you talking about, Alan? Anywho, 466. Guys, I just want to take my NyQuil. Why does the game hate me? I just want to take my NyQuil. Don't crash my lobby, stupid NSO. <sighs> sometimes I regret reading chat sometimes. If someone is purposely breaking the lobby... I will be sad. Karma, bitch! <laughs> and... Third time's a charm, right? We'll just play in Rainmaker then, fine. I will now take my NyQuil. NyQuil chicken, you're going on the bed with me. I don't trust you being out there. <laughs> I mean that lightheartedly. No! I'm missing Raymaker Mako? Whatever. I'm gonna mute, guys. I'm gonna take my NyQuil. Chat, I wish I was kidding, but when I opened up the NyQuil thing to get my two capsules, my kitchen, like, chandelier thing, one of the bulbs was flickering on and off when it was touching the NyQuil. And then when I consumed the NyQuil, it stopped flickering. I wish I was kidding. I think I'm haunted. My kitchen light was like flickering on and off. Like one of the light bulbs. 
I think I'm haunted, guys. I don't know. Someone came to my house and haunted it or put a hex on me because clearly... Clearly... Someone didn't like me touching their NyQuil. <laughs> I swear, I have the worst luck in the world. Do I believe in ghosts? No. But it was quite a coincidence, I'd say. Quite a coincidence indeed. What a coincidence. It is my worst enemy. Exactly. Yeah, I'm back, y'all. <laughs> I really had to think. Clearly the NyQuil is kicking in because I'm spacing out a little bit. But man, what a... Uh, what a journey this stream has been, you know? What a journey. Balloon Boy has haunted your NyQuil. My house is turning into a Freddy's uh, pizzeria. It is. Mm -hmm. Man. Man, it's getting quite late though. My energy is completely shot, dude. I don't even know why I'm still alive. Honestly, this, uh... Um... I think the next round will be the last one and it'll do Squid Party. I don't know if I can do full lobby. Because... I've been pushing myself to the stream today. And I was not expecting to go this long. <laughs> but, um... We'll just play one more ranked round and then we'll do a squid party and we'll wrap things up. Yeah. I actually don't drink energy drinks. I'm not a personal... I, I don't know. Not that type of person. I didn't win the ghosts are mad. <laughs> this is why I love Floda streams. Oh, Floda streams are fun. That's why I like streaming, too, because I can... It's just... Every stream is different. There's never the same stream. There's not... There's always something different... ...that happens in each stream, you know? Kind of crazy. Yeah, this will be the last ranked battle for the stream, and then we'll reset for a squid party. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna raid tonight, um, because I am really tired. Um... It's always an experience, exactly. It is a journey. I need to bully you more. 
But Ange, Chad has already bullied me enough. I still can't believe, like... I still can't believe, like... <laughs> like, about four of my mods came in as soon as it was talking about NyQuil Chicken. That's... <laughs> oh, lord. It's my turn? Damn, Ange. <laughs> Dude, I need energy for tomorrow. Whew. I need to get some school stuff done tomorrow. So I haven't been doing too much stuff. I honestly, like... I know I said this at the beginning of stream, but, like, I seriously was super exhausted when I came home from school. Like, not gonna lie. I don't know why, but this stream is giving me so much energy. I can get over my silly little cold. I've just been... You know. Oh, that's nice, you know. It's very gamey. Yeah, it is getting quite late, and I do need to catch up on sleep. So I have enough tomorrow. Oh, so yeah, tomorrow's fun. Lotus in school, I thought he was an adult. Well, adults can be in school. I promise, though. I'm not as old as you think I am. I'm 4,866 years old, you know? The equivalent of four years old in Lota years. Mm -hmm. I'm still maturing. Nah, he's 11. I'm sure am 11. Real. I'm one year old. Right. How do you guys know my age? I am every age. That's what I am. Here you go, Tees. Oh, float is one float old. That's right. All right, we're gonna reset the lobby here. Um, so we can wrap things up. Cause yeah, we're gaming. I'm negative 190 years old. Yeah. Damn. All right. Reset the lobby for a squid party. Anyone can join on in. Obviously, you were not able to get into too many private battles or turf wars today. We will be playing more Splatoon next week. If you are on Team Dark Chocolate, I will be streaming all that stuff, but I'll talk more about that at the end. Squid party, no killing. Get your crabs out when there's one minute remaining so we can do a little crab rave. I'm gonna spectate random players. Because the game does that now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, here we go. Also, dang, eat those. Also, see you later, Ghost. Thanks for joining us. Have a great rest of your night. Yeah, hashtag Team Dark Chocolate real. Real ones. That's a little Pokemon champ. Welcome on in. Hopefully doing well. Oh, man. Let's see, I'm that old. I'm aging backwards. See, I'm wearing my tea right now, real. There you go. Game finally let me sponsor this Becky bench. 
Yeah. We're gaming. Oh. Oh, sorry for yawning. <laughs> I always get embarrassed when I make human noises on stream, you know? Judging my yawns, I suppose. Sorry if I made you yawn. <laughs> I know I'm tired. All right, here we go. So that's pretty cool, Pokemon Champ. Apparently Merlin aged backwards, but most adaptations don't include that. Interesting. I hope none of you in the squid party run to me with chicken. If I see any rotisserie chicken in your hand, I will kick it out of your grasp. And I'll kick it into the garbage can. I now have a rivalry against chicken. If you share me a stock image of chicken, you will now... I will cry. I will cry inside. Dang, Squiffer. I'm still shocked that, like, America actually bleaches their chicken in a chlorine solution. Not heavy or anything, but it's so crazy. <laughs> All right, almost crab rape time. Getting bumped off. Yay! I love my crap rape. I love being in this good party. You game in. Na 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 right. To the parking lot! So see you later, Neo. Please take care of yourself. Have a great rest of your night. It was nice meeting you. Hope we, uh, hopefully, we can see each other again soon. That's it for the stream. It's not expecting to go four and a half hours today. Um, it's not expecting that at all. Me completely honest. Um, also, no kill squid party. Stop. No kills. This is literally the best stream ever. How dare you all be good people? SMH. Then again, you guys also sent me NyQuil chicken, so it does come out of cost clearly. But mm -hmm. thank you all for coming today for Funny Squid Game. Very last minute for me to change um, the usual PBs to um, conch shell collecting, but um, I hope that you all were able to get some conch shells. 
Um, unfortunately, we only got like four, but that's considering we didn't have the Splatfest bonus, so rip to that. It's kind of hard to get all of them, low-key. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you all have fun today. Um, honestly, like I've been saying, I was low-key probably going to cancel this stream, or was going to cancel this stream. Um, but I was able to pull through, and honestly, like, despite, like, all the jokes and stuff, I don't know, I, it's been, this has been one heck of stream, and I, uh, oh, it's been, been very nice, honestly, just being able to chill, sometimes changing things up is a good thing, you know, I hope you all had fun with Turf War, we'll probably do it more often, um, uh, but yeah, I hope that you all had fun Splatooning with me and talking about weird shit like we normally do, um, yeah, Hashtag Team Dark Chocolate. Um, Splatfest is next week, so... For people that are curious, um... I will... Be streaming next week, and... Um, for Team Dark Chocolate. Um, obviously before then, tomorrow, at 6pm CST. I'll be streaming Dang and Rampa V3. Um, we'll be going through Chapter 2 tomorrow, so if you want to see us play funny... Teenage murder mystery game. Um, feel free to stop by then. Um, otherwise, next week, most likely we'll play FNAF 2 and obviously the Splatfest. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, once again, I hope that you all had fun today. No raid because I'm very tired. Um, but I'm sure there is a Splatoon streamer out there waiting for you. Um, to watch and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Um. Just remember that this exists, okay? Um. I wish I never looked up Nightcore Chicken. <sighs> what a night. I don't even know how to end stream. Uh... Oh shit, my mic wasn't muted. I was blowing my nose! That's embarrassing. Goodbye, y'all. I'm done. Oh my god.